welcome to the most horse-powerful podcast on the internet, the Xbox Drive. Before we get this show on the road, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and ring that bell on YouTube, and leave a five-star rating or review on your podcatcher of choice. If you want to continue the conversation after the show, make sure you join the Carpool Gaming Discord. For exclusive content and all the Carpool shows in one simple feed, head over to patreon.com slash carpoolgaming. Finally, head over to carpoolgaming.com for all of your merch needs. Now, with all that out of the way, you better buckle up, Buttercup, because it's time for the Xbox Drive. No power greater than X. Fee, are you muted or something? I sure <laughs> am. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the, the one person introing the show, the one person starting to talking first, all muted. Okay, here's my Whoa, thing. Welcome was... back, Sean. <laughs> what am I doing? What, what happened to the show? This is the 3300 and some odd episode of this show. Okay. We used to do it in a car. I, I just want to say, I, I was unmuted. <sighs> And then the opening started, and then I was just like, maybe Sean wants to greet him, like, start the podcast. Man, I just caused chaos. Just my presence only. Yeah. Like, I don't even have, I, like, I don't have flags. I don't have nothing. I'm just being a good boy. I'm pushing the buttons to get us live. That's it. So I was just like, here's the deal. I'm going to mute myself and let Sean have his moment to greet everyone, get everyone hyped that he's back. Um, nope. Yep. So I tried. I'm just here. here. So hi, everybody. Welcome to the Xbox Drive. Um, Hope everyone's had a great week. I know we have. One thing you may notice, we have a fourth person. Sean Capri is back with us. How's it going, Sean? It's me. I have a Diet Pepsi. I have a bottle of Diet Pepsi. We've got a bunch of games to talk to you guys about. We're going to do the whole, like, favorite games on Xbox. And I just I just want to start by saying... Um, that I love, I love you all, and you guys did a wonderful job while I was away, and I got to be a fan of the Xbox Drive, just like just like like a normal person. I got to play games like a normal person, and I got to I got to have laughs like a normal person. I live a normal life. That's me, Sean Capri. Yep. <laughs> you got to enjoy your favorite show on your Carpool Gaming Network. Thank you. You're welcome, I did, dude. Yeah. It was so fun, and I, and I also want to just say, just right out of the gate here. So thank you for turning it over to me, Fee. Um, I appreciate that you guys closed the show last week by wanting me to come back. The other show that I do here at Carpool Gaming, the Nintendo Drive, two out of those hosts were just telling me don't come back. Like, they don't want me back on the Nintendo. I don't have to do that. I don't need to deal with this crap. You know? I'm here. I'm with my people. You are. It's all good. Just remember that when we upset you later in the show. I mean, Fee started it muted, so (laughs) I'm trying to keep it in mind. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this might but not be the one great. you wanted to come back to but hey you know what? i love you know this what? show you guys are great <laughs> i wanted you back um but it's already been what three four minutes and i've already been called up multiple times for being muted so we'll i i will i'll i'll think about my choices um, <laughs> um yeah that tracks yeah. for me honestly yeah. mm-hmm. that works also, speaking of choices, Mitch, how's it going? Ah, I'm doing good. Uh, hi, Mitch. I'm, uh, you know, hi, hi, Sean. Hi, Fee. How about that? Um, I, I will say I'm good. However, tonight's mm. a sad night in the in the in, in the household. Um, womp womp. I don't have any Dr Pepper Zero Sugar. No, I'm resorting off the to show. drinking. Yeah, Fee has some, and I don't. You got swamp water, Sean, but it's okay. We're this is fine. not swamp water. Swamp water. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Is about there it. two words that sound more like womp womp that aren't womp womp? <laughs> <laughs> swamp water. <laughs> Basically. Um, no, no. Yeah, it's the same thing. Diet Pepsi, swamp water, womp womp. It's all the womp. same thing. <laughs> swamp I water. bet you Diet Pepsi said in a different language is womp womp. It's okay. Don't worry. It's about possible. It. Yeah, you might, yeah, have yeah. Said, you might have just said it, a swear word. Ooh. I might have. I, hey. You told me to keep square words to a minimum. Diet Pepsi's close, I'm just saying, but it's okay. No, we're drinking Diet uh, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar today. I have eight cases of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar that are going to be here after the podcast. I'm sorry, you guys. I'll make sure I have one next Friday. Baza, how are you doing? You look wonderful, by the way. I just wanted to point that out. I'm a princess. (laughs) (laughs) 
Lockwood you look great. And I had a blast playing Princess Peach Showtime earlier on Twitch. Man, if you couldn't make it, if you're busy working, I'm sorry. I know we took the day off. Not everyone can go check out the VOD twitch.tv slash carpool gaming live. I can't wait to check it out. I love that this is a thing. It doesn't happen every single brand new game release, but every once in a while, a new game comes out and carpool fires up a, a stream where our hosts take the day off work. They call in sick and then go publicly live on the internet. Sick. Oh, you totally didn't call in sick. You took the no. day off like a I have actual vacation responsible. Time. Yes. Yeah. PTO. <laughs> Very nice. Great job. I right can't now. wait to check it out. I'm so glad you guys did that. Uh, for those people who are new to Carpool Gaming, we do something around these parts called that we like to call science. Um, Seth Sturgill and I, once upon a time, we discovered that through Melon and Streamlabs and StreamYard and all these other internet tools that we could like show both of us playing the same game at the same time with two different screens. So, and we just decided to see how far we can push it. And so when that happens, we call it science. And I think that's what you guys were doing today, right? Bowser, you guys were, no. did, did it work? Oh no. Lockleth was doing it all in OBS. She's oh, a real snap. MVP. Yep. Real science. Yep. Over the weekend, we got together and set things up, and she did a great job. Oh, a lot man. to manage with that. So, so did you guys set up like OBS and display captures and just crop stuff out? Yep. I streamed myself and my game into Discord, and she captured those and put them up on the stream. Look at us. You know what? I applaud that. I applaud any work in OBS that's done. Great job, yep. Lockleth. Good job. Yep. Applause. Just podcast with us clapping into the microphones. Yeah. yeah. Just oh, golf clap. Nice. Max. Fee with a lovely golf clap. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a it's an aggressive, fast one, too. It's like, hmm. Can't even, like, see your that. hand going. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera can't catch up. You got to get a 120 frame <laughs> to keep up with that. <laughs> I don't Here know. We are. Here we are. Hey, Fee, you're not muted. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm running on a solid three hours. We are. We're here Excellent. for it. I'm super pumped. I'm super excited to talk about all our favorite games. Um, all right. Yeah. But Love we'll get it. into that in a little bit. Okay. Do, yeah. do we have some housekeeping first? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this, like, subdued fee. Like, normally we get, like... I'm playing Hell Divers, bitch. <laughs> kind of feel. <laughs> just, just let, just let the Dr Pepper hit, and we'll be, we'll be okay, sailing. Yeah. We just she's, need she's to not ramped up on Dr Pepper yet. Let her get there. Let her, let her get there. <laughs> just give her a moment. She'll get there. I'll also be like raving about other things later on. So that the Rave excited away. me will be here in a minute. We're just gonna be here golf clapping and just be in vibes for a little bit. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those silent raves. Yeah, like where exactly. everybody's wearing headphones, you can not yeah. hear anything else. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. <laughs> Have you ever been? What you know what I'm talking about, Mitch? Mitch, I could see going to a rave. I feel like you've got raves in your history, sir. I had children or Coachella's. I'm not sure. To go to, no, no, I had children way too young in life to do raves. Thank you very much. Oh, like, dang. That, that wasn't happening. You know what I mean? In another uh, life, my my raging nights are uh, spent here in this chair playing video games, that, I know, and right? I don't even stay up late because <laughs> God forbid, if, dude. If I stay up till like eleven. I want to point out something. Last night, I was up with you, helping you mm -hmm. with Wavelink. I woke up this morning so tired. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't go for a run. I was oh, just no. saying, it's so late. And it was, by the that way, was a mistake. late 11 o'clock. I know. <laughs> just like. You guys, you guys keep me up till midnight all the time. Mm -hmm. true. It's facts. You're stronger than us, Bowser. Remember that. That's you're, true. You're, you're stronger than us. 100%. Mm -hmm. My old self stays up to midnight. And I'm just a drooling disaster at 6 a.m. in the next morning. So. Yeah, it, yeah, I can honestly uh, see well, Bowser just on. like hucking me over like the uprights, like the football yeah, field. You know, what I was like, you know what I was like? I just caught Fee judging face right there for a minute. Mm. I said I was going to be a drooling mess. She's just like, Ugh. like, what was that about? Like, <laughs> we're all get there. Don't worry. I'm sorry. You can run on three hours of sleep. I'm old. Look at me. You can't you tell? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess, right? I'm a mess. Look at me. You're great. I need sleep. No, I'm not. You're great. I appreciate you, though. This is great. This isn't. That's why we cover True. this. That's why we don't cover this. What your hair? Your hairline is that? Oh my god, my hairline's a disaster, guys. I like your hairline. <laughs> oh, you're the only one. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. I would touch it. You have a great beard. You have a great I, beard I, too. I, I I do. I I try to I try to make sure it's good. I comb it. I oil gotta it. Got to comb it. I got to comb it. Out. You can't have it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sean, before you were gone, I did a promo video for an Xbox Drive episode. My buddy DMs me and goes. Fix your beard. You better not go live with it looking like. Oh that. dang! 
He was like, but you know what though? Yeah. You know, you great, need friends no, like no, that. No, 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 but you, you need a guy yeah. to keep you in check and a guy with yeah. a beard. He's like, homie, I know you have a better mm. beard than that. You can't go online looking homeless. And I'm like, you're right. You're right. Jay Billa. Thank you. I appreciate you. He's a good friend. Remember homie, that. you're homeless. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he literally messaged me. He's like, bro, go and do something. Fix it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Thanks, I appreciate you. You got to have friends that keep it like that though. That's it's, true. It's, you got to have to. Mm -hmm. Like if you walk around with something on your shirt and your friend doesn't tell you, what kind of friend is he? You know what I'm that's saying? That's why that's like, why Lockleth is around. She's telling me one screwing true. up all the time. Okay, that's not good, but okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're talking about, right? <laughs> that's the same thing? Yeah, 100%. Or is that abuse? Just... Depending on no. how you take it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm unsure. Yeah. <laughs> Tone of voice, subject matter, I guess all that matters depending on how you take it. That's okay. The little head tilt. Mm. <laughs> were we doing housekeeping? We were. Do we get to. there? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. I can do housekeeping. I want to say I want to say thank you to everybody who supports us at patreoncom slash Um, It's been incredible over there. A ton of exclusive content like that. Their Nintendo Drive post show uh, that I returned to earlier this week, and then Seth Sturgill and Ryan Turford and myself recorded. A CPG BTS behind the scenes, give you a little like peek behind the curtain um, in case that's where you want to be peeking. We've got a curtain for you to peek behind and you can listen to that episode uh, at patreon.com slash carpool gaming. And uh, that's available to everybody at the exclusive tier and up, which is great. And I want to thank none other than the Robbie Bobby Miller and Smoke and Joe for becoming platinum producers. That is crazy. Wow. Two of you guys coming on in. Thank you guys so much uh, for that. So, um, yeah, actually, news coming in very soon on, uh, we have special perks that we often don't talk about for the Platinum and Ultimate producers. The 2024 iterations of your perks are coming very soon. So um, it's on the to-do list. Now I'm back. I'm working hard. I got all these shows to do. Got all this stuff to, to go. We got all this Diet Pepsi to drink. Um, we got all these beards to, 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 to br what do you, comb them or brush them? What are you, what are you doing? Both, Mitch? sir. Sometimes you got to do it either curling. way. Curling. Right? You got the curling iron no going. Curling, you got the flattening. Sir, no. No. straightening iron no, no. blow dry blow dryer yeah blow dryer I use, okay i use a blow dryer yeah, I, I gotta keep it. it straight got yo know, get the heat on there and then lay it okay. flat because you don't want it going this way because then you True. look fatter right you yes. gotta make it look down right yes yeah it, you don't want your face wider right that's when i go to my barber when i know it's that bad when i wake up and it's like just this out. i'm like fix me the you jack black you. Uh, uh, now, I'd like to ask this question of Bowser, but uh, Bowser, your hair isn't long enough. So, Fee, do you ever <laughs> hold your long hair in the shape of a, of, a, of a long beard? Do you ever play like little little beard game with your with your long hair? Just kind of throw it over your face? What do you mean? Like go like this? And this yeah, way? yes. I thank you. Yes, this is, like she acts like like she's never done it before. Like that's how oh, I know. I've totally you're, done you're, that. There you go. Like, oh, oh yeah. you mean like this? And it's like perfect. I'm not yeah, sure what just, you mean. I don't yeah. know what you mean. Just a full, like, She goes full beard. system of a down, guys. Just <laughs> the Armenian beard coming from the chin. Just, she, just, she's just trying to understand your question, Sean. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. I like how you just like, Bowser. Yeah, never mind. Fee, I have a question it's, for you. <laughs> it's been like 12 years since my hair's been long enough to do anything like that. So it's Man, fine. It's been, like, it's been like 10 years since I had hair. It's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it would have been even more crazy if I just pulled out scissors and it's like, what do you mean? And just cut my hair super short. Just <sighs> no, I, that'd be tra that would be traumatizing Hilarious. for me. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd be able to handle that. <laughs> just cut a chunk See, off. That'd be like lopping off a limb live on air. <laughs> I would not enjoy that. Fee, if you decide to cut your hair, please wait and do it like that. Please. Yeah, just no. like, please. If you decide one day, don't tell anybody. Just no. cut your hair short. You go, don't worry about it. I got something awesome content coming your way. I don't and like it. And then John be like, oh, what? You don't like my hair? You no. want to hear instead? No, it's like the secret ending to the first paranormal activity. Have you guys seen that? She just like comes up to the camera and just like, Bleh, and it's like, oh, no, I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no self harm, no hair harm. Okay. No hair harm. It no hair harm. It grows back unless you're not blessed. Unless it, but it grows back. Yeah. 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 I felt, yeah. My buddy. I won't say his name because I'm not going to call him out. He had really long hair. And then but Richard. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that to him. I'm not going to do it to him. But he had really long hair. And then he like sh cut it short for his wedding. And then mm. it started thinning. And it reminded me of like Rapunzel's hair. Like yeah. when it cut, it never came back. I'm like, homie, you cut off like the golden locks. And now it's just gone. It's just yeah. gone. It's never coming back. That happened to him. I was going to bring up a story very similar. A guy I knew, uh, he worked in the kitchen at the restaurant I worked at. He shaved himself bald and it wouldn't grow back. 
And it's like, that's horrifying. That's Although horrifying. he may have been a liar. So I'm not, that's why I wasn't going to tell the story. <laughs> yeah. He also got caught stealing a big block of cheese out of the, out of the kitchen. <laughs> Like, you guys know, like, everything in a restaurant is obviously, like, industrial size. Like, the big blot, like, the buckets yeah. of ranch dressing. Just, like, mm -hmm. just a stupid amount of dressing. You should not have that much ranch dressing in a single container. It's too much. It's too disgusting. And also, the big blocks of cheese for, like, a pizza place. Enormous amounts of cheese. He shoved it under his shirt after a long, you know, 8, 10-hour shift, which is a sweaty situation. And he tried to run out the back door. We caught him. He had a big block of cheddar cheese. It's, it's kind of hard to hide that big of a piece of cheese. Right? You, you think? Yeah, absolutely. I, I hope so. Also, yep. stinky, sweaty cheese. I, I mean, if you're going to hide it, like, put it in a bag I hope you guys threw it away after person. that. Gross. <laughs> no, we served it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. We, 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 like, we, we cut off that away. top layer, it's fine. <laughs> we, we cut off that top layer. Cheese? Yeah. Exactly. The cheese is expensive. Exactly. Skim yeah. the top. We're good. Don't worry about it. I'm I sure just, the health department loves hearing that. You guys, we have, like... A couple dozen people watching us here at youtube.com slash carpool gaming. And I just want to say thank you to everybody hanging out with us in the chat here at youtube.com slash carpool gaming. The Xbox Drive episode 300 and something, which is incredible. And here we are, the four of us. We finally, like, I'm back. I had my mental breakdown. I was sick for a little while. Oh, I played a bunch of Xenoblade Chronicles. I mean, the 2024 iteration of Sean's mental breakdown. Um, but I'm back. It feels good. We're happy. We're it happy feels great. Back. And you yeah. guys gelled so well. I, like you just picked up the you picked up the show and you did the I dang mean, thing. And I really we fought liked like it. siblings. But if you call did that you? gelling, then yeah. all right, sure. I Rich Bauer it. didn't have to show up again, so that's good. That's yeah. true. Yep. Just saying. I still haven't heard anything back from Fee's legal representation, but I mean, I wasn't going to bring it up. But don't worry about it. It's fine. You know what? We we appreciate a spring sabbatical. You know what I mean? So we'll just let them. We'll 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 let them take their time. It's fine. Okay. It takes, it I takes mean, a while I mean, to formulate a case, you know? Yeah, they're court busy. Court costs add up, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can settle it, out of be, court. Yeah, I hope so. We can maybe settle out of court. I don't want to go that far. I don't, I don't want to make that OBS scene. Isn't that if, the complete opposite? <laughs> that's actually what you want to do is settle out of court rather than Yeah, that than is what like, you want to do. Yeah, yeah that's what you want to do. That, that's no. not messy. That's the thing you want to do, I, Mitch. Okay, Court's I'm sorry. Messy. I'm sorry. Mitch wants to make a spectacle. He's going to be grandstanding. I'm sorry, Rich Bauer, not Mitch. Yeah, um, yeah, no yeah. relation. Don't don't put that. In. Come on, man. I also want to welcome in to the chat Riley King, uh, who wrote us a lovely song, actually, and, and has been writing a, a ton of songs on Twitter. Uh, we will be playing that at the end of the show. I, I have to say, Riley, I'll just look right at the camera here as I as I say this. Uh, I was at the end of a workday, coming back from vacation, and. This video shows up. You playing piano, playing a song to the melody of "Creep" by Radiohead, and I was weeping. I love that song very much, and people, I cannot wait for you to check out the end of the show uh, because it's a lovely song, and it just shows uh, how much Riley cares about all of us. This show, the Carpool Gaming shows, and this is what makes it all worthwhile. It makes it all very special. Not every podcast on the internet has a friend out there sitting down at the piano and just singing their hearts out for us, man. That's very, very cool. I weeped just like Jesus, Fiona. I weeped. Yep. Je Jesus wept. <laughs> Jesus well, weeped. weeped. Yeah, Jesus weeped. <laughs> yes. I don't know how to So thank you, Riley. I appreciate you, man. I see you. I appreciate you. That was very, very cool, man. You're a cool guy. You're a cool guy. You're a cool, cool guy. Indeed. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. And him. I appreciate all of you guys. Just appreciation. It's just, it's, it's all it is. That's all it is. Appreciation. I mean, you know, I don't know how I'm much he appreciates around. me, but it's okay. We'll find out. It's still debatable. She said I wasn't <laughs> the reason she bought, I bought Helldivers too, but it's okay. I mean, she definitely yeah. was, but that's fine. Okay. Mm. No, it's because, okay. You said the reason why you ended up buying it was because you watched a video of two other people playing it and you're like, this is the game I want to play. Tipping point. I said uh, the, the tipping point of me. <laughs> I'm just saying the tipping point. The oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Wait a minute. This could be amazing. Bought it. That's what happened. Everybody... You were in these stages. You were in these early stages of like hyping it up, and then it got bigger and bigger because you kept saying you were playing it. It, it. Okay, now now she's touching her mute button. I'm scared. Go ahead. Obviously, you're she's in your head. You have the clip of her saying she's playing Helldivers two that you played for us every week. I think yeah. she is the only reason you bought this game. The only reason. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who would edit I mean, that whatever's shit? in your head. 
You know you what, Fee? You had to edit that clip. I and did you have to edit that clip, clip. <laughs> while I was away. You played mm -hmm. that clip. You clicked a button to play that clip, and yet you waited until you watched two people act the fool rather than <laughs> buying it <laughs> rather than buying it so we could play so we could act like crazy people because there's no way to play that game other than just pure chaos okay. instead you were like i need to watch two other people have fun for you to say you know what i'm gonna buy this and not only that you then said i can't wait so i can play with my friends and i'm like okay <laughs> aww Okay. You know what, Fee? I'm going to buy it and play just with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I'll point out something. I am not going to be made to look like a bad person here. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 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 I refuse for that. I refuse for that. I just want to point out something, okay? Never once said I wouldn't play with Fee. I never once said Fee wasn't my friend either. Fee just threw a whole bunch of words at you guys to imply mm. that I said I'm going to play with my friends, but not Fee. That didn't happen. <laughs> and you can clip it right now and put it out of context if you want. It didn't happen. I'm just saying. I've also played games with Fee. You know what's funny? I bought Lethal Company mm. to play with other people. It's true. But guess who I played it with first, Fee? It was you. You. Me. I played Me. it with this whole crew right here. All three of these people. One of them had a very bad time playing it. That game sucked. I won't say who. <laughs> oh. You just did. That's your fault, not mine. <laughs> I'm just saying, I bought that game to have fun, and I ended up playing with you guys first. So, who knows who I'll play the game with first? I don't know. But you just want to assume that you're not... I, I don't call you my friend? Mm. I mean, I rude. did see that you literally played it three days ago, according to Discord. I literally oh, started it like just to see if my PC could run it. Yeah, she's stalking me Stalk now, guys. Stalking me. I, like I just All want right, to guys. say... I'm changing I Discord open... settings now so you can't tell what game I'm playing. Hold okay, I just want to say, I opened Discord today to specifically say, hey, everybody, this is a thumbnail I'm working on. And on the top right-hand side, it says, like, what people have been playing... Or like specifically your friends who what have they been playing who are mm -hmm. in this Discord and it said that you had played Hell Divers and I'm like oh I'm so happy you got to play Hell Divers and then that was it. You're and honestly, then she immediately been... assumed I didn't send her an invite because I don't want to play with her because she's not my friend. Or no, this has nonsense. been really entertaining. I just wanted to see how <laughs> like how fast I could like rile you up and I'm now gauged. This is this, this oh. is where like trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got it. Riling up, is that what we're doing now? Oh, Got man. it. Got this it. Is entertaining. The okay. amount of editing I'm doing Monday. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait. Oh man. Once welcome again, back, Sean. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. No, I, I, guys, I'm, I'm trying not to like just <laughs> jump in all over this. I just like to, I like to listen. I like what's happening here because, like, there's no. Oh, we're new together. Let's try not to upset the apple cart. Let's like, you know, get along. No, Fee just that. puts her claws into people right we're away. That's it. the type of person that Fee is. It's cool. I love it. I mean, it's like you've known each other for decades. It. I'm a man. I can take it. I'm a and man. Bowser's just here looking. <laughs> I'm a beard. Look, I'm a man. I'm a beard. And then Bowser's just here looking super pretty. Yeah. Shaking her head. I cannot get over. Like, I saw this live and I was like, <laughs> that's awesome. Yep. I did that with my hands and you couldn't see it. <laughs> Emphasizing <laughs> with the hands. This is awesome. That's exactly what I did. So. Yeah. No, we uh, we all uh, we um, you know, see what we played Lethal Company, and she yes. didn't kill us, so that's a good thing, right? That's true. She, true. she didn't. She took it easy on us. However, now playing Hell Divers yeah. with her, though. Oh no! I'm she... gonna like just push you into a cliff. It's fine, or like off a cliff. That also works. You could do Wait, that. Wait, what did you say game. the first time? As I pushed into you, which honestly <laughs> into a that also <laughs> just honestly. smash me into a mountain. <laughs> Yep. No, that's all, essentially all we do is you just run around, click F, because on keyboard and mouse, it's F to push people, and you just push them and you run away. Mm. And that's all you do. Then there's One also more. friendly fire. I just appreciate the devs that are like, you know what, we're not turning off friendly fire because it's hilarious. Um, but I digress. Yeah, um, yeah there's going to be a lot of death, and it might just be... <laughs> <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Future Mitch, go back and clip where she said she's going to kill you and put it out of context. Of Thank you. I just said <laughs> lots you. of death. I didn't say lots of Mitch's death. I just said lots of death. That's, That's true. true. I, you know what, though? You know what, though? I want to point out something. When you said that, I think you looked at my corner of the screen mm. a little bit harder. Yeah. That's what I thought. I saw it in your eyes. Like, I'll go back and check the VOD, but I saw okay. it. Okay. 
in my defense, I was looking at F's in the chat by Lockliff, the mm. comment, which was a fantastic okay. comment. I mean, whatever um, you gotta say to make yourself uh, not guilty. Cool. Do what you gotta I do. I mean, this has been a this has been great. Um has I, been great. I look forward to playing Helldivers with you. Um, and it's gonna be super friendly. Um, and no one's gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't say it with a straight face to save her life. I look at that. She's just like mm -mm, no. No, no, it's fine. No. Don't worry about it. We'll play. Just sweet fee. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. And then Bowser's gonna be there, like I bought it to play. <laughs> I'm here. I those two are just gonna be over there murdering each other. I'm, I'm gonna not gonna murder. Like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, she's like, aren't there Don't bugs kill to kill? And me and her are just like over mm. here, just <laughs> slap fighting. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't I'm going to be over here going, like, you guys want to play Outriders from 2022? <laughs> Y'all like StarCraft? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> those bugs. Do. Yo, are those bugs? Nah. It's okay. Kind of we'll, the same. Uh, we'll get some games in. No, I actually did. Um, I bought Helldivers on PC. Sweet. Because I... Here's my thought process. It's a PlayStation-owned title. Mm. In a year from now, they'll give it away with PlayStation Plus. But they're not going to give you that PC version for free. So mm. if I'm going to play it now... Might as well get the PC version. Also, I'm a nerd. I did like video checking videos on graphics and frame rates and all that jazz. And PC version looks like it runs well. So the only thing I worry about is how well will that game run with my stream? We will find out someday, maybe this weekend. Will you ever have play. a streaming PC, Mitch? You ever thought about that? Get a streaming PC? Like a separate PC? Yeah, separate PC um, so you can play I your games on one, stream it from the other. I could absolutely tell you when my PC was broken, I thought about it. Yeah, <laughs> I thought about just going to Best Buy and buying a laptop and just be like, this is the streaming PC. Oh, um, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. laptops can totally do it. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I have thought about it, but until PC gaming makes me want to like stop playing on Xbox and PlayStation for now. But also I have a laptop. Why haven't I done this? Doing, Sean? What am I doing with my life? <sighs> Well, that's a many questions. I don't have a USB actually. capture card though. My my capture card is inside the computer. Don't like worry, I'll, I'll recommend. I'll recommend <laughs> the computer. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'll recommend a solid USB capture card. Don't worry about it. I got you, bro. Okay, okay. I got you, bro. Elgato could reach out if they wanted to. Elgato, they could sure. send us over. We got all your stuff already. Yeah. Like we don't need much more. We've got all. Hey, the I'm about to buy their here. webcam. I'm about to buy their webcam. Yeah, are we are. all on the same microphone? No. Well, um, no. Bowser's got the what is it called the. She Wave the DX DX. with the Wave the XLR. She, oh, she's yes. got the better setup. The yes. jealous setup for me, just saying. Yeah. Like, wow. That like setup came out after mine. But we're using Elgato microphones. Yes. Are we? All yes. the time. Okay. Yes. Yes. Correct. The Xbox Tribe cool. brought to you by Elgato microphones, not sponsored by Elgato microphones. But. However. However. We talk and spit all over them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing this thing gets a mess sometimes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this thing becomes a mess. I'm so happy to be back. You guys are like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I don't care. We're just having fun on the internet. Who cares? We're having fun. Yeah. That's what it's about. But apparently it's also about Xbox things, supposedly. Eventually I mean, we could pin it. Yeah. <laughs> just pin all of Xbox <laughs> talk. Let's talk for two hours. Ready? Two hours. We'll have five minutes to do Easy. our top games. 100%. Easy. Yeah, just list them. Just name them. Yep. <laughs> no <laughs> commentary. Just, yeah, just say the name. This, 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 this. Bye. <laughs> Bowser, your Boom. turn. <laughs> Podcasting's easy. Yeah, so easy. Absolutely. See you next week. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I would feet. say I'm, lo I'm looking at this list of games played, and it's not surprising. P, have you played anything other than not Helldivers with Mitch? Well, um, great question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the answer's no. <laughs> well, okay, I played some more Bell Ultra. I've been, like, super obsessed with that, mostly because, as a random side note, that's not gaming related. I have gotten back into binging television shows, and right now I'm binging Criminal Minds. So I find it very easy to just have Bell Ultra playing and watching... Um, criminal minds on the other screen is it good for my mental health we love we love crime we love random death um so here we are um, <laughs> it, checks <I> just, out. <laughs> it checks out so that's all it's i think that's all, essentially all i've been playing um is ball tro and hell divers um yeah if you, <laughs> if you need sleep because of criminal minds um yeah that's true um it's yeah, I really haven't been playing too much else. Um, I did play some 
TCGs. Um, I played the new Star Wars Unlimited. Um, t- um, it's tabletop card game. Um, so we played that last weekend. Um, and yeah, that's essentially all I've been doing is board games and then Baltro and Hell Divers without Mitch. Um, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Asterix without Mitch. He did a fine. whole stream of a game. That is true. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> did. Holy moly. It has Holy. been a week. How is Bowser remembering what you played and you don't? Because you know what? Bowser came into my stream and didn't roast me. So I just want to say we. I showed up. I mean, you did. I was you there. Did. And then you were like, what? you're just setting up. And I'm just like, yes, I am just setting up. Because there was some technical difficulties at the beginning. So for four hours, I went through the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator to make one character. Not two, not three. I made one character in a span of four hours. So am I excited for the game? Yes. Am I concerned about the fact that there's only one save file? 100%. Um, That is absolutely concerning for me, especially since I played Baldur's Gate 3 and I really liked I was one of those people that may or have may or not may or may not have had multiple saves. Um but either way I went through the character creation and it was fantastic. Um there were a few things that I was a little bit upset about, mostly the tattoo arrangements, which might sound very weird. <laughs> um but it irritated me that like if you move the tattoo like let's say you selected one for your left arm, but if you moved it up too far it just like it just disappeared. It didn't actually like move up the shoulder or anything. It just had a cut off. Um, so, so literally it was on the arm. So God forbid you went off the arm that it was just like non-existent basically. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I wanted to do like kind of like a spiral, like a vine going up with my character's arm and then up her neck. Um, but that wasn't something that could, it almost, I kind of described it as almost like a Barbie doll where they have like the lines on the shoulders. Um, so like, it's kind of a little bit disjointed. So I'm hoping right. that someone mods it or maybe they fix it in the future. So you can have that seamless kind of design. Um, I understand why they did that, but at the same time, I wish they didn't. Uh, so here we are. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I would have to say it was probably one of the better character creators that I've used. Um, because I find sometimes, yes, you can do some crazy things in it, but you're also able to make some like really great looking characters. I was really happy with mine at the end. Um, and also just the blending overall. I also just realized, like, it's not so much I just realized, but being able to like do a character creator and just set the expectation with everybody that I'm just doing the character creation, not just like, Hey, I'm going to be playing this video game. And then it's just like, why, why have we been here for three and a half hours? And all of you been doing is creating a character. Um, so definitely want to do more of those in the future. Um, so yeah, I am, I will admit no idea what dragon dogs, <laughs> dragon's dogma is about. <laughs> um, am, am I excited about the game? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what it is entirely, but I'm happy and excited to play it more. Yeah, yeah. As long yeah. As your character looks good. You're fine. My character looks great. She looks, I think, fa- fantastic. Um, I'll have to take some photos and post them in the Discord. Um, but I am interested. I I want to go into the game like completely unaware of what the game is about. Um, I know that it's definitely more challenging than other games, but then also I talked to someone recently and they said it's like a traveling sim, like a walking simulator, which I'm cool with, but with fighting, which I was just like, okay, like I'm cool with that um, as long as it's not in first person. Um, also, <laughs> why would it be in first person if I spent all that time creating a character? Because that yeah. character creator is crazy. Um, but you know what? There are some games that you can play first person um after making a character for a multitude of hours but yeah um also thanks for everyone who came and hung out with me um when i made that character creator um even though some people here may or may not have roasted me because my setup was not instantaneous and i wasn't instantly creating my character mitch um but it's fine um we're fine um everything's fine it's fine everything's good it wasn't in caps um at all um (laughs) That's cool. Either way, yeah. 
um, that's that was my week. Um, Criminal Minds, <laughs> Dragon's Dogma, and <laughs> Paul Altro. Um, how about how about you, Mitch? What have you been playing this week? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll go with the typical Apex and COD because that's that's the that's my constant. And by the way, I played Apex and COD without fee. Just saying. Because she would throw up. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, however, uh, due to basically, I'm not going to say bullying, but in a way I felt bad just coming to the show every week and just saying Apex and COD. Um, I decided to mix up my stream schedule and now Wednesdays and Thursdays, I do some sort of single player game that I keep putting to the side. So I tell my friends, hey, Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm not available to play Apex and COD. I need to play some other stuff. So I started Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. And I like it quite a bit. Um, I actually like it a lot. Um, so fun, fun facts. Hey, that's me. Um, so fun fact, I did not see a Harry Potter movie until December. Okay. I was shamed for not watching Harry Potter. And then on the charity stream that I did, I did a watch along goal like hey i'll do a watch along if we get this goal i did it i watched every single harry potter movie including all the fantastic beast movies and i like them a lot they're good so i decided and my daughter i got this for my daughter last year for her birthday because she's a giant harry potter fan and i immediately thought hey what do you think and she's like this game is awesome she loves it like I, I, every person who's played like a harry potter fan loves this game to death so, and I was like, you know what? I now appreciate it more. Cause if I just started playing it and I hadn't seen the movies, you know, would my excitement level be there? Probably not. Yeah. So I decided, hey, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and now give this game a try. And it kind of gives me the same type of vibe of like a open world, tons of collectibles, tons of upgrades for your character. Um, but overall it's fun. It, it graphically, it's really good. Uh, it did have a character creator that I did not spend four hours to do. Um, mm. I made my character look as much me as I could. No beard options, though. <laughs> Sorry, game. Um, just want to point that out. No beard options because it's a child. You know, what I mean, it's supposed to be like I got a teenager or whatever. Apparently, they can't grow full full grown beards like this. Apparently. But it's okay. Apparently. Um, but um, no, I'm I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, the only thing that's odd too, uh, up until this time. I didn't know what house I was. Okay. Okay. Now, I decided to do the online. Wait, wait, quiz. wait, 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 wait. Fee, Fee, do you know anything about the houses? I feel like you're you're into this stuff. Do you know this stuff? Like, yes, I do. Hold on, so, hold on, hold on. Well, crap. Because I was gonna have her tell. guess. I was gonna have her. I yeah, was gonna. Yeah, I want go people ahead. to guess like where you at? Because I know where you've ended up, but like I don't know if you, if you knew where he was sorted. Okay, well, I'm going to assume by his robes he ended up in Hufflepuff. Oh, damn it. Um, oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Like, I, I wouldn't know. Like, that's how little that. I know yeah, about yeah. this crap. Um, <laughs> like, I already spoiled it with the video. Yeah, Yeah, I, honestly, I would definitely, say, like, even though I do raz you a little bit, um, I would have definitely said probably a Hufflepuff. It seems like your vibe. And, I mean, that's in the nicest way possible. They're really friendly. I'm trying to give you a compliment. I appreciate you. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. Go on. Um, go on. Give okay. me a compliment. Okay. They're like they're friendly, they're personable, and they're usually like very loyal. So I, de I definitely can see you being a Hufflepuff. Aww. I wasn't gonna be like you're cunning, and then I think you should be in Slytherin. Um, That's what I said. Fun fact. <laughs> fun fact. I did like, the you're quiz not in Slytherin. Hold on, I did the quiz <laughs> online. Okay, I I want to mm -hmm. shout out the quiz online. The quiz online gave you like multiple questions, mm -hmm. although some of them were BS. It was like. Question, left or right? I'm like, for what? <laughs> like, I didn't know we were getting political. Like, just, just, can I just, oh what are you talking God. about? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? The, the question was, choose left or choose right? Left. I'm like, this is weird. Yeah. Okay. But like, oh, this is when a cat got stuck in the ground. I felt so bad. I, I, I put that thing together. The cat, look, the cat's in the ground. And then the cat's oh, gone. No. <laughs> I felt so you bad. You killed look the at, cat. Look at me. I'm so concerned. Look. I, I try to pull him out of the ground. He just glitched in the ground. I'm so sorry. Uh, thanks for showing the worst thing I did in the game, Sean. Anyways, um, so I did the quiz online and gave me Hufflepuff. My chat roasted me. They thought it was hilarious. And then in the game, there's a quiz that you can do, like, you know, answer questions, similar thing. Mm -hmm. Although what I wasn't happy about is it was only two questions. That's it. And then it's like, here's the house, which it gave me Slytherin. Ooh. Yep. So, you're on so the edge that's what's there. funny, right? Right. So what's funny is, uh, however, 
I asked chat, what do I do? Do I go Hufflepuff? And then Bryant, uh, my buddy who is absolutely thrilled that I'm playing this game because he did the plat on this game, he straight up said, embrace the puff. So I said, fine. Yeah. Embrace I the did. puff. Yep. Okay. So I did that. <laughs> but no, so far, um, like I said, the only thing that scared me on this game, to be honest, and this is just me personally, if a game is too big, it weirds me out. Because mm -hmm. I feel like there's, n I won't be able to complete it 100%. I'm one of those people that likes to check everything out in the game and get all the achievements and all that stuff. Um, when I saw the world map, I freaked out. It's it's enormous. It's a huge game. And I told my buddy that, because that's why I stopped playing The Witcher. Um, I played like 35 hours of The Witcher. And then I zoomed out on the map and realized I'd done nothing. Yeah. Like nothing. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I, I just got anxious. Like I have other stuff I got to play. So I just stopped playing The Witcher. Not because it's a bad game or any of that. I'm just like, I don't have the time to put in this game what I want to do with it. So mm -hmm. I just hard stop playing the game. Um, but I told my buddy, Bryant, same thing. I was like, hey, this map is ridiculously big. And he's like, well, once you get some traversal, it's not that bad. Yeah. Right now, running around on feet, <laughs> it's big. It's real big. It takes a long time to get from one stuff, you know, beside the map to the other. Once you get some stuff to move around the map, it's not as bad. Um, but I mean, there are still a lot of collectibles in the game. Um, that also kind of worries me because uh, I didn't platinum Batman games because there's 300 regular trophies or something. Oh, yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I went to Hogwarts by itself and there's like 150 of this one collectible just in Hogwarts. I'm like, holy crap. Like there's so much you can do in this game, but overall it's, it's great. Like I don't have a bad thing to say about it other than I got freaked out by the map, but then my buddy reassured me that it's good. Like don't freak yeah. out. It's not it's as bad fun. as Witcher. Uh, even completionist on how long to beat completionist says 60 something hours, which that's not terrible. Um, like yeah, I said, it, it, it sounded like you were describing like a 200 hour game. Right. And that's yeah, what worried me immediately. I was like, crap. Now, like I can't put 200 hours. The main story says like 27 hours. Uh, completionist says 60 something. But like I said, if the game is still, if I still enjoy it at the end of the story, then I'll just keep going. Right. And that's what happened with like, um that's what happened with uh ghost of tsushima specifically that game when it ended i didn't want it to end i, I, I have a so question much. sean, sean yes. Capri from the press pool uh yes, yes, Gaming. On, thank sean. you for taking my question uh i have no idea what's happening in this game like what's what's the scoop here like what's it's amazing because this is from last year um mm -hmm. like is voldemort at it again like no. is 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 harry like in this at all no. you're you're clearly not harry no. potter like what's no. going so on it here? takes place nine apparently I asked my, again shout out to Bryant you're the homie for f helping me with this game uh it takes place apparently 90 years before Harry Potter 90 90. Yeah. so nobody from Harry so Potter got middle-aged Dumbledore uh Dumbledore's <laughs> not even in middle-aged yeah exactly yeah um no no Dumbledore that I've seen um no characters really that I can remember from the movies so far in the game maybe later in the game there is some relatives of people that are from the movies that are in the game i won't spoil who or what it is so okay. there's some relatives of some people that are in this game and i again i was like who is this and brian's like it's like the great 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 aunt of this character i'm like yeah are, are you just are you being for real right now he goes yeah i'm 100 mm -hmm. serious so um yeah like it's cool though but like i said it's very open world um the traversal itself it there's no real like climbing like assassin's creed or anything like that um, everything's grounded as far as the combat goes. You can, you know, lift people up. You can do those things, but you're not like jumping around doing crazy stuff at this point. At least you're not. Um, but no, like I'm it's that third person action open world game. I'm a big fan of, too, even though, yes, I play a lot of shooters. I'm a really big yeah. fan of shooters, but I also do like the Assassin's Creed's. Here's a funny fun fact, too. I've never seen Lord of the Rings clown me in the chat ever. That's totally fine. Ever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fee, Sean. Get your judgment faces on. You know, Bowser, we're just in Bowser, shock. I appreciate that's not judgment. I was going to say, Bowser, I appreciate... Oh, Bowser. no, that's a judgment face. Nah, that's a, oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a judgment face right there. That's a judgment face. It's on my list for the watch party. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> no shot. Just full cam Bowser disappointment. Uh, future bitch, go clip that. Anyways, um, uh, no, so like I've never seen Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, so people made fun of me. Lord of the Rings is a watch party I will be doing next. I have to figure out what time I'm doing it, but that's oh, the next man. watch party. But here's what I'll tell you. The, I didn't watch Lord of the Rings, but Shadow of Mordor 
is one of the most fun games I have played. Shadow yeah. of Mordor is phenomenal. Shadow of War, the sequel, even better. So those like third person open world, and also that's why I'm a big fan of all the Sony stuff too, right? Ghost of Tsushima, Uncharted, Spider-Man. I, I look that type of game by the way here's my uh invisible cloak dude the cloak of invisibility you have a yeah, green cloak you have a green blanket or something that you're wrapping around yourself is that what's going no, on here sean it's an invisible cloak that i bought oh, off amazon it's magic thank of you course. yeah okay i'm sorry I'm trying to blow up my spot bro um, my bad my bad my, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize by the way same <laughs> it hat magic. it's okay it's it's magic um but i have some ideas for the stream as well i'm gonna do some harry potter channel points uh courtesy of xl he gave me some ideas for some channel points that are gonna be harry potter exclusive ones uh that i'll do uh but though every wednesday and thursday i'll be streaming at least two hours of harry potter each of those days and um until it's beat and like i said once i beat it if i do end up uh liking it i'll just continue and just get the platinum so i'm uh i'm having a lot of fun with that though so that's currently what i'm playing bowza i mean you kind of gave us a hint at what you're playing based off your outfit I did. and <laughs> didn't say anything i i don't wear this yo i'm sorry we don't it's realize normal. it bowser wears this daily she goes into town and she's like i usually take it off for the streams oh so okay you guys would pick on me so not pick yeah. on you but we don't feel as you know we're not royalty yeah, i don't want you to That's feel bad yeah yeah we're just peasants i get it <laughs> go on <laughs> bowser what have you been playing <laughs> It's actually been a lighter week for me for games. I was out of town for work and then getting a tattoo and then came home today and did a stream for a bunch of hours. But of course, I played some Fortnite. Last week after the stream, like the next day, I tried to finish Wizard with a gun before Backtrackers and I didn't quite get there. So I still need to wrap that one up. Um, I loaded up Final Fantasy 14 now on Xbox. Never thought I'd see that day. I did I, one duty and one quest and popped like 36 duty. achievements. So that was fun. Lots of rare ones. Not too many people have a level 90 character on Xbox. Let's just say that. Um, but the big one, of course, is Princess Peach Showtime. Holy crap, is that a fun game? Yeah. And it is not like a walk in the park. There are some tough things there. There's a couple sparkles that i didn't get at one the end of one of the stages and i'm not sure i can so i don't know <laughs> like if there's I not possible this game like i don't even know i thought i did great and then nope sorry you didn't get it jeez but yeah lockleth and i had a blast today playing this it's so much fun i great love music. this oba lover i love this overlay i love it all yeah. of the different outfits she has like some of them you're completely no combat like you're bacon cakes for the enemies to make them feel better. <laughs> Other Aww. times you're like stabbing them with a sword or lassoing them. You never know what you're going to get. So everyone should play. I don't think it's a super long game, but it's not super short either. Like we streamed for four and a half hours. And yeah, I'm like, I don't know, maybe a third done, maybe, but it's going to be harder the last two thirds. Yes, Mitch, you have a question? Uh, uh, yes, Mitch from the Xbox Drive, a uh, question. L I love the show, love the, the crown. Uh, question, I currently have a Nintendo voucher that I bought that I have not used yet. Same with me. Just want to point out, is there any single Nintendo game that's first party that's coming out that sh I should save, or should I just get this? We don't know what's coming out. Is any, does a, does anybody remakes. have a clue of maybe something else? Because otherwise... I was I was I was thinking this, but I have a Nintendo voucher that uh I need to use. I mean, if it doesn't expire soon, maybe hold Those on to expire. It. That's right. I got yeah, yeah, that's bad. That's kind of dumb. That's I feel so like it's dumb. illegal. Yeah. <laughs> that like you paid for it. Does. Yeah. Gift cards used to like not be allowed to expire, right? Yo, real talk that Nintendo's like gift cards, yes. Vouchers, Vouchers it's a whole can expire. Game. How yeah. dare they? The Vouchers. technical. You know what? I didn't read the T's and C's. You're right. You're right. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to check that. Because uh, otherwise, if this is, like I said, I mean, this looks like a really fun game based off what I saw yeah. you guys play. Um, and I'm sure my daughters would love it as well. And um, yeah, so I, I just don't know what else is coming out that is worth a Nintendo voucher for. Yeah, with the kids in the house, too. I think you could get some good value out of that right absolutely i think that's it for what i've been playing sean i'm dying to hear what you've been playing yeah well 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 
I don't have like a whole heck of a lot to like dive deep into. I played a lot of Fort uh, Forza Motorsport actually because I just want it's just my happy place. I'm just gonna get in the car and race around a track a whole bunch. And um, so that was that was a lot of my my time away. Um, I did manage to get my hands on just an old classic, you guys, and I played. Uh, Star Wars Dark Forces Remastered. Um, this is this is in addition to another game, another Star Wars game that I also played, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, which I can be very quick with to say I played half a match because I couldn't invert the controls. Apparently they've patched it. I will go back to that and, and hopefully try again for next week. Um, but I've abandoned that for now. I played a few levels of this Star Wars uh, Dark Forces, which is a an old first person shooter game that came out like basically right after Doom. I like I didn't looks like Doom. Quite realize yeah. how old this was, but yeah, it's Doom like early 90s PC first person shooter. Um and they've done a wonderful job with this remaster. I'm no technician. I'm not pixel counting or nothing, but the game played quite well. I my big takeaway from it as fun as it is and as the the music, you know, swells and you're feeling all like you're in Star Wars land over here the level design is tricky like this is old school first person shooter stuff and it's like you can end up going in circles a little bit you got to leave breadcrumbs wherever you're going and i may end up using some form of assistance or guide or walkthrough to to get through it because it is a lot of fun um but yeah it's i'm glad that i have it like this this year overall i played tomb raider before i left uh the tomb raider remasters i've got two star Mm. wars remasters i've got a whole bunch of stuff man it's been it's been a good year of gaming for me so far, um, but I haven't gotten too deep into that. Just playing it a little bit. I I stumbled upon a code for a game called Mad Cows, and I'm going to struggle to try to see if I can bring this up uh, while I chat about it to show you guys what I'm after here. This is an indie game. We get the codes from, from ID at Xbox, and it's a sort of a basic, like, pla- platformer. I feel like I just heard something whisper. Am I losing my mind? Oh my gosh, I heard like a creepy voice in my head. Are you playing Hellblade? It's possible that this <laughs> this thing just did this to me. Um, I but don't want to put case, out before you go there. That looks like a Doom mod that LucasArts was going to sue the person that did totally. that Doom mod. Yeah. And they straight up were like, we'll yeah. sue you or you just give us the assets and we make this a game. That looked just like Doom. <laughs> it was like Doom. <laughs> that looked yeah. just like Doom, man. But again, by the way, Doom's awesome, so that's not a problem. I want to talk to you guys about how this this Mad Cows game, um, the description, this is what caught my eye, and then the game launches with this. Uh, I'll read the, the, the narration here. Uh, For centuries, the aliens mutilated cattle with little to no consequence. And then, it, dramatic pause, finally, the cows had enough. And they organized, they trained, dramatic pause, <laughs> Now they are ready for their revenge. I'm in. I'm in on games like this. It's a ridiculous premise. Cal does look mad. Not necessarily <laughs> a, uh, necessary at all. But every level is like a base. Like this is a as basic a uh, 2D side scrolling action game. Uh, each level has its own like objective. Killed in this case 17 aliens, and then go to the end. And it was a good romp. Nice. And um, the reason I bring it up for you all is this was like. A thousand gamer score in maybe 75 minutes so go pick this game up for five bucks and get yourself <laughs> a thousand gamer scores and shoot a bunch of aliens because the cows have had enough so if you're on team cows go to mad cows hey fee rich bauer gave you an out with 100 percent of 100 percent you know did get a platinum or get a thousand i'm a just thousand. saying if you needed I'm something for a too. thousand gamer score there's easier ones don't worry fee <laughs> Yeah, this looks like I spent a lot more time than 75 minutes trying to get this. So so I have a question. So I'm sorry. Oh, Mitch, Mitch, you have a question? Yeah, mm-hmm. Mitch, uh, Mitch Power, Xbox Drive. Uh, question, Sean. MAD was an acronym? Uh, yeah, I don't know what it was title? for. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, on. you're right. Because usually something like like fear, like first encounter assault recon. Yeah. You know, like stuff like, like that. Okay, game. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the mad what the mad stood for. I can't. So recall. you played this and you can't tell us what mad stands for. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's just a, it was just a fun just playing a game. Now, um, you may notice I have, I'm not really diving into anything really deep right now. I went I went big time into Xenoblade Chronicles Three. I talked about that on the Nintendo Drive earlier this week. I still haven't gone back to Alan Sleep. Um, <laughs> maybe I could be playing Tomb Raider. 
But I also could just be like maybe looking for what's next. It could be cyberpunk. Cyberpunk could be what's next. So I've got a whole, as you guys may recall, I have a whole list. Uh, Alan Wake is on there. Uh, even Assassin's Creed Mirage could be up there too. Mm. Cocoon, you know, we maybe this is maybe we could. I don't. I want to have a game by next week. I was gonna say maybe we do this next week, but maybe we'll. I, I probably should pick something. You know, I spent most Sean? of my time playing Xenoblade. I won I Assassin's Creed Mirage from your charity stream. Still haven't played it. <laughs> so, still haven't played it. We can do it I, together. I, I, I'm just saying. Again, I have to start playing these games that I keep yeah. putting off for COD and Apex. So that the time that I'm forced to play them, I'm actually having fun. So I have like that, I have Elden Ring. I, I haven't played Elden Ring before. I have that. Oh, I could do Elden Ring. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get real mad playing it though. That's the difference. Sean's gonna play and go, oh no, I lost. I'm gonna <laughs> die and I'm gonna throw things. The, the, I, the I could do Baldur's Gate. Of- I could do Baldur's Gate you as well. You got fees. It's v, mm-hmm. You got fee muting mm-hmm. for that. I, know, I just wanted to <laughs> <laughs> throw a little something sorry. in here. Mm-hmm. I could do. I've Baldur's never Gate. seen fee that excited so far since I've known her. I'm just. That might be that what out. I have to do. It might have to be Baldur's Gate. A little BG3. Yeah, play, yes. Play thirsty yeah. suitors. It's on Game Pass, so mm. you don't no. have to buy it. And then come no. to Backtrackers. No, you should play Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> 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 could be, could be Baldur's. Why this not follow important. up a ninety hour Xenoblade playthrough with uh with Baldur's Gate? Uh shout out to Thirsty what is it called? Thirsty Suitors? Yep. Uh we have a code to give away. So if people don't have this is just our on request. Like we're not gonna like throw it in the chat or anything, but um the backtrackers is a very cool thing, community driven, um selecting sort of like the the hidden gems, like the the not triple A, not the you know top of the sales list kind of games, but still very fun, very good experiences. Uh, the last game I think was Wizard with a Gun. You guys chatted about. Um, mm-hmm. We have a code for this one, and if you don't have Game Pass and you want to jump into the Backtrackers and play, just reach out to me. Send me a DM. The first person who does it, I'll, I'll send them the code for Thirsty Suitors, which is a great name. That's probably better than Mad Cows, actually, just yeah. straight up. So, so that's like a bad. Canadian just kinda, name. It's very descriptive of what it just is. Just descriptive. That's right. Yeah. Isn't there a store of Canadian computers? Isn't that a store we've talked about in the show before? I think Fee, I think in Fee's Canada. I literally yeah. took a photo. I went like a week ago and I was just like, oh man, I have to take a photo. And then I didn't send it in a group <laughs> chat because I forgot. Um, so I do have a photo of Canada computers. Canada um, computers. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. Very straightforward. <laughs> really to the point. <laughs> very. very. This is where we are. This is what we sell. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sometimes you just need that, you know? Yeah. Fun fact. I'm just realizing this. Um, my brother and I, we both uh, split our purchase for the original Xbox. And where did we buy it? The real Canadian Superstore in the photography lab, in the photo lab section, where you buy all the electronics. It's a grocery store, but it also had a place where you would drop off your film and buy cameras and Polaroids and things like that. They would also, that's where I bought my Game Boy, and that's where I got my Xbox, from the real Canadian Superstore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know what? I make fun of you and I say that. But we also have a store here called American Furniture Warehouse. Oh, oh, this changes everything. It's the same thing. It's the where same we thing. Are, what we sell... How big is our building? Here we are. What we sell. Here, Canada Computers, American Furniture Warehouse. I'm just saying, everybody, everybody's got stores like that. I just, you know, it took me a second to realize it. It's okay. Don't worry. All right. Worry. Good to know. Good to know. So yeah, that's what I'm playing. You guys can center. let me know what you want me oh. to play next. Maybe we'll do it that way. Just message me. Tag me on X. Carpool Baldur's Gaming. Gate. Baldur's Gate three. You know what? Be fun. Three. For the sake of this podcast, go play Baldur's Gate three. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's important. VM helping important. you remember that. Thank it's, you. It, it's important for our friend for your friendship. Apparently, she goes. It is important. It's important. Yeah, when I have that, when I'm just like dialing in that 500 kg bomb, I'm just gonna point what it in that? another direction now. Oh, it's a massive bomb that you can release out of the sky in Helldivers 2 to blow up um, automatons um, or insects or your friends. Um, it I- drops and then it like kind of delays and then it looks like an atomic bomb went off incredible it, it reminds me of spirit bomb and that which reminds me to tell you guys i probably watched 15 to 20 hours of dragon ball super while i was away yeah that's what i did i watched a lot of dragon ball <laughs> like yeah and trunks was there and it was a good time man 
It's a good time. Nice. I'm glad mm-hmm. you enjoyed that. Yeah, I have a feeling you. one of those bombs is going to get dropped in my head the moment I put it. It's a spear bomb. Accidentally. Yeah. Of course. You know what she's going to do? She's going to go, oh, no, Mitch. I dropped a bomb in your head. As she That's psychotic. <laughs> yeah, just stares at the camera. Blank okay, stare. first of all, I just want to let you know, it's not going to just be a surprise to you because not only does it get some, like you throw essentially a grenade and then this massive laser co- like shoots into the sky as a radar. The only way for me to be able to do that is for me to purposely throw it at you so it sticks onto you and then, of course, then you are dead. Um, yeah. But I won't purposely throw it at you. I might accidentally land on you when I die and then you summon me back and then I might accidentally do that because that happened. It's and a dead body. It'll break your neck. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure friendly it out. Friendly fire. Don't Doesn't sound very friendly at all. It's yeah, super really. friendly. I about this game now. It's for liberty and... <laughs> Boss is like, I'm, re- I'm going to rethink this for a second. Yeah. Throwing bombs, sticky bombs on your friends. It's all still good. still thinking Starcraft about. might happen, y'all. <laughs> I think yeah. I might be doing Starcraft. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, John, are we discussing Fee teaching Mitch Helldivers? Because that would be epic. I mean, I, I mean, just to be clear, I never once said I wouldn't play it with her. But after she talked about a sticky bomb on my back, that's a 500 kg atom bomb. You just we'll need to make out. sure that when you address me in that game, I am a death captain me. currently. <laughs> um, I am death captain. I'm Zoranix, And I am level 30. And my ship is called queen of war um so come at me <laughs> v already has rank going to her head and says you will address <laughs> me as this call me fee and watch what happens i hear you all right it's okay I do well, they, someone may or may or not have tried to court martial me like multiple times it's fine we're fine <laughs> jeez i had to address my buddy buzz as captain all weekend because i was being bad at call of duty and he's like, mm-hmm. you got to follow your captain. So then the rest of the day, I legitimately treated him like a captain. I was like, Captain, what do we do? He's like, fan out for supplies. I'm like, you did not just tell me to loot in this game by that. So did you really just say fan out for supplies? He, he <laughs> It was so militant. When we sucked, we had a D rank, aka get the default skin on. He's oh, like, soldier, you're performing it. poorly. Go get that default skin on. I'm like, come on, captain. He's like, nah, nah, you can earn your skin back. So yeah, it was actually quite fun. But yeah, if he, you got to write it down because I'm not going to remember that. So You'll see it when you log in. She said, you'll learn it real fast is what <laughs> she said. <laughs> she said, don't worry, you'll learn. The five times that you die when you don't address me is it. It's okay. John's correct. I It took a lot to, for me to get there. Um, mind you, I'm the lowest rank out of the group of people I play. Actually, no, that is a lie. Um, there are a few that are Shame lower them. rank. Name but them. The majority- <laughs> I mean, name them. <laughs> <laughs> that Mario Rivera. Um, I'm going to call you out right here. Your full name. <laughs> because your that government is your, name. <laughs> that is what your Twitter <laughs> handle is. Um, no, he's lower rank. Um, and I always feel bad because every time he just ends up either killing us or getting himself killed. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's pure chaos. Um, no, I honestly really enjoy it. Um, so I look forward to playing with Mitch um, and Bowser. If you potentially get the game, and then in 2025, Sean, when you inevitably get this game, <laughs> I look forward to, for you to play and join <laughs> Me us. Me too. Can Me Sean too. get games gifted to him? him? Can Sean get games gifted to him? Is that against yep. the rules? That is yep. true. No. I I've gifted gift. mm-hmm. Lethal Company to him. It's true. Yeah. Did it make me cry that he hated it so much? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh- <laughs> oh wow! So, he said, "Can I ask for a refund and get a game I like?" That's I did funny. not. I did not do that. <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> just want to be clear. No, no. By the way, I also want to be clear. We played it at an inopportune time when we, we did, were we all did. a little tired and a little crankier. And, you know, us old men, when we get a little sleepy, we're just, Meh. you know what I'm saying? I just don't so. get it. Like, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's that, but maybe. You're, I, I, feel, I appreciate the benefit of the doubt, but I, don't, I just don't know if I get it. I don't Homie, know. We if... played that game at like so late. We played it so late. And again, yeah. I was in the same boat where I'm just like, Try to keep my, my old like, eyes. So you don't like, keep any of this stuff. For you. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm buying it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not blaming it on that. Like I, I like I said, appreciate the benefit of the, <laughs> of trying, the doubt. But, but I don't yeah. know. Do you I think I, fine. I think you no. Know, I, I here's what I'll say. Certain games, depending on the vibe that you play with with people, it can be infinitely more fun, right? Some games yeah. suck if you play it by yourself, right? But when you have a group mm-hmm. of your buddies there and you're BSing around and all that stuff, 
it becomes infinitely more fun, right? That's true. Example, Helldivers. I feel like I want to play that game not with randoms. I have a feeling I don't want to oh, play yeah. that game by myself. I have a feeling I want my boys or Fee or Bowser, my friends, there to play with me in order to enhance that experience, right? Um, like I said, that game, I feel like we were all new to it. It was late. But you're right. It could just be a game you're not into. That's how I was with Lego Fortnite. I was very much like, what's the damn point of this game? Like, what are we doing right now? Man, we're, we're just, just going around, going around the room, well, seeing who we could upset here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Bowser. <laughs> exactly. Bowser no, likes I mean, it. Likes what? Lego Fortnite? Yeah. That's I, what I'm saying. No, no, no here's, here's what I'll say about Lego Fortnite. The thing I just, now this is just, also Minecraft is in the same boat with me. Just want to mm. be clear. Keep it going. If there's... Yeah, no, no, I, keep, I'll piss off more. everybody on the internet right now. <laughs> All I'm saying is... The thumbnail says to... our favorite games, and we're listed off the worst, the ones we dislike <laughs> exactly. the most. No, no, so my, my thing is, for, for LEGO Fortnite, the reason why I was not a fan, and again, this is just me personally, mm -hmm. I like games that have some sort of structure to them where they're not too open world to where you... Like, example, me and my friends, we played it a bunch, and we got to the point where we mined everything, <gasps> we, we made all this cool stuff, we built all these cool things... And then afterwards, I was like, so what do we do now? And we kind of got yeah. to the point where we we're just like, you just keep getting materials and keep building this stuff. There was no like story. There was no like PVP. There was no boss that we hadn't beat yet. Right. It was just kind of. And again, that was Lego Fortnite when it first came out. Obviously, those types of games, they get more legs as they're older and they get DLC and they get updates and all mm. this stuff. But it just when it first comes out and I'm like, cool, we've literally built everything awesome you can do. We have our base. Awesome. We've mined everything. What the hell do we do with all this stuff? And my buddy's just like, go get more materials and keep building this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not having fun. I'm just material farming right now. But that's just me. Like, you know, like Minecraft has at least any correct me if I'm wrong. They have like enemies and like the enders and like all these things that you can go do. And that's just not in Lego Fortnite right now. Again, right now. In a year from now, that game could have way more stuff to it that I like, but I just got bored with it and I just didn't see the point in just resource looting over and over. That's all. It's just me. Now that I've What are the games you hate, Mitch? <sighs> Destiny 1. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll go so, on. Uh, oh, gosh. Game okay. Pass is a thing. And yeah, yeah go, Bowser. <laughs> go, Bowser. Go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to ruin yeah. everybody's experience on this show. No, go on. <laughs> So, um, there are some new Game Pass games coming. What? What? I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen. Coming to Game Pass. Let's do okay. it. Oh, snap. You can do that? Wait, that, we can do, do that? that. You have to put it on the screen. But that's oh my cool. God. Oh, that's way better if somebody else can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I ain't got oh, to that's great, man. That's Sean, awesome. Yeah. We learned a thing or two while you were gone, buddy. Hey, hey look at this. Nice. Thing. Hey. Look at this lineup, though. This, this is a good that. lineup. This is it's a, good a pretty line. good list of games here. Um, yes, it is. Obviously, Diablo is a big one. I'll probably jump yeah. back into it just for kicks, you know, pick yeah. up some Chivos. Yep. Um, I've heard Open Roads. I've heard of that. It's like your, you and your relationship with your mom, I think. That's coming out. That's a new game. Yeah, it's a day one Game Pass game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody I else have anything on this list they're excited about? Hang on. I wanted to look at the Open Roads business up in here oh uh, can do it be your, it's, oh it's an Anna Purdy game yeah it is Fulbright okay they did Gone Home this was actually one of the games that I talked about um about um games that are coming to Xbox that I'm excited about this year yep. um so this looks a like a phenomenal game um game my apologies um it ha for some reason I'm not very good at names. I apologize, everybody. Um, but there is an actress in this game who was in the movie The Waitress. And I'm going to have to look this up in like two seconds. Um, Chat's got you. No problem. Chat's got you. Perfect. They'll yes. Please find the um, actress's name. Um, she's actually been promoting this game as well, which has been great. Um, and I hate the fact that I cannot think of her name off the top of my head. But there it still looks really fantastic. And I kind of want... I wanted a good story game for this year to play. And this one stood out um, when I saw it a while ago. And I'm just really excited for it to come out. Um, uh, it looks like your mom is rogue in this game. The X-Men rogue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the gray streak of hair. <laughs> is um, this an MCU tie-in? 
<laughs> Dude, I I mean, this looks like a game that we could probably finish by next week. Yeah. Like not, and that's not to like put it down or anything. It's just it looks like a looks like a nice short game. Carrie looks Russell. Good. Well, you can't because it doesn't come out till the Carrie 28th, Russell. But oh, just you kidding. Can finish it in the following week, maybe. <laughs> Jk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I would. I'm excited about Diablo on PC just because yeah. I want to test it on my PC to see how well, yeah. how much better it runs. So that's exciting. Also, I want to point out something. Um, super hot. If you guys have not played Super Hot, Fee, stop, d- plug your ears. Um, super Hot is phenomenal. Okay. If anybody has not played that game, if anybody has no idea what that game is, basically time right there says it time only moves when you move. Okay. So basically the whole concept is it's first person game, but essentially what happens is, is that when you sit there, everything's just still. And then when you move, that's when all the enemies move, but that's also when all the bullets move. So like they'll shoot a gun at you, bullets stand still. And then you just kind of move out of the way, like what you're seeing there. I was fortunate enough to play this and stream in VR. I played the whole game in VR. It is amazing in VR. It is so good because literally you're leaning, you're grabbing guns out of the air, shooting. It's so good. Yeah, the and, gameplay is so deep on this. Like, yes. it it seems like the time moving moving thing is like a like a cheap gimmick, but it's like it's so not. And then mm-hmm. also that would that would have been enough, actually. But the story, like, there's some weird conspiracy that's happening here. Um, yep. It's so good, dude. It like super hot is a. I'm so glad you touched on that because a lot of these games deserve to be talked about a lot of like this whole lineup for game pass games is really good super hot is one that probably has been t- discussed for many times over the last couple of years but like it deserves it it's such a special game very cool and that's the expansion on it too and it's not very long either it's not like it's a crazy long game like you can do mm-hmm. it in probably a couple hours but um now again i played it in vr but regardless vr just made it better right it's still a great fun oh, game imagine. on its own but in VR, it is wild. It is super fun. It's super hot. Ha, ha. Uh, uh, nice. Man, you saw what I did there? Thank you. I heard um, it. You heard it. <laughs> but no, it's it's a really fun game. And like I said, it's a quick game. It's like it's almost like, I don't want to say it's DLC. It's its own separate standalone game. But it is like an expansion almost. That's its own separate game. Uh, but it's on Game Pass. And it's like a couple hours long. Like, give it a shot. It's yeah. it's a really good game. Uh, Fee. Thank you so much. Um, I am very excited about The Quarry. Um, mm. That game is... I didn't personally play it myself, um, but I was able to play along with one of my friends who was streaming it, so he did a lot of like vote for X, Y, and Z to happen. And it is a fantastic game. Um, if you're a fan of... Um, the Until Dawn series, um, any of these, um, oh, it's, oh man, this game. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you are interested in this. It's honestly probably a really good like kind of summer game. Um, Supermassive, once again, did a phenomenal job on this. Um, it was kind of like what I was excited about with um, Dead by Daylight um, because sadly um, I felt like some of their anthology games kind of missed the mark a little slightly. Um, but this was a fantastic game. Um, and also perk, once you've finished the game, you can actually do theater mode where you can go in and select like what the, t- um, like kind of vibe a specific person will have if they're going to be more aggressive or more friendly. And then you get to select their specific kind of like stats and then you just click play and then it plays the entire game as a movie. It takes all the actual cutscenes. And you can watch it as if, okay, so if I chose that this character rather than in the um, playthrough that I did where the character was very charismatic and very caring, maybe I choose that they're cold and very isolated or very like abrasive. So what would happen if this character was played through as someone who was very abrasive? Um, So it is a really, really cool time. Would highly recommend it. It's about i would say about six hours um four to six hours depending on how long it takes for you to select options or how many people maybe live um but either way it's a very cool time and the story itself is summer camp things are bumped bumping on in the night what's going on um and people die 
RIP. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I was just about to ask if it was like until dawn and you literally hit the nail on the head and you told me like, like that's exactly what it looks like it is. So yeah, I was happy that you, um, that you mentioned something about being abrasive within this, within this game fee, uh, folks at home who've been following along with the Xbox drive may recall a moment that happened, a very special moment that will go down in history here on the Xbox drive where, um, Mitch was, was talking about wanting to purchase the SpongeBob Xbox Series X console. And uh, Mitch, you, you asked Fee, did you see the, did you see the, the SpongeBob uh, console? And, and, and Fee said, the yellow one. And, and Mitch, what did you say? No, Fee, the green one. The green one. Uh, so I believe there's a short coming soon with this. But as Mitch was editing this, this moment together, I did a quick Goog on green SpongeBob. Turns out that's a real thing. Turns is out there thing. is a green SpongeBob uh, who appears in an episode about becoming abrasive. And he's like the scrubby <laughs> little thing. <laughs> the so, scrubby side of a sponge. The scrubby yeah. side of a sponge. And it's so perfect for the, like, you tried to clap back at her. You could have chosen any color under the yeah. sun. You went with green, and there is a legitimate SpongeBob SquarePants episode about him becoming abrasive. And he does so with a scratchy side of a sponge. And I just thought that was dang special fee. Feel like it saved you a little bit. It did. To a certain extent. It, it actually it did. Happen. It gave her some credibility, right? It was like, no, 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 no. There is a chance that this is the case. But uh, when Sean brought that up to me, I just was like, there's no shot. Yeah, you were right. I could have said every other color. You could have said pink, sent, purple. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, then, and then he sent me the screenshot, which may or may not show up in a, in a YouTube short. Somewhere oh my on the gosh, internet. dude. That's so. so funny. That was yeah. such a good moment, though. I don't know what you're like. What would... Like, Fee, you know what Spongebob is. Like, what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> like, what happened there? So definitely caught her off guard. She just, she just blanked yeah, and like said. like the yellow one. <laughs> the yellow, yellow one. So my thought was like, okay, maybe they did a collaboration where it looked like the Krusty Krab because it's kind of like a rectangular shape. So maybe they painted it to look like the Krusty Krab. Mm. Maybe they made it look like a Krabby Patty. I don't know what they're talking about. So I didn't think of like the character SpongeBob. I was thinking SpongeBob as a collected, sh like collective show. Could have been a Patrick Star Xbox true. exclusive. Patrick's in I the shape know. of a star. Okay, well maybe it was, <laughs> okay, you could literally paint it pink and then green with like the little like star, like purple shapes that he has on his shorts. True. I'm just could. saying, yeah. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a little mock-up for that. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? If yep. I ever, which I do need to get an Xbox, maybe I end up just like making a skin for it and it's not going to be a SpongeBob. No, no, no. I'm going to make it fine. It's going to be green or green it's going to be a Patrick. Now it's going to be out of pure spite. It's going to be, Sp I'm going to get different skins. I'm going to get like one of those like temporary skins. I'm just going to change it on the weekly. Why not? am I going to go broke? Absolutely. But is it going to be for the <laughs> one? I will go broke being so spiteful is what she just yes. said. She's like, I'm going to be so petty. I'm going to go broke. I can't wait. Snacks. I like it. Xbox Canada probably get, you can hook her up with an Xbox. That's a green SpongeBob one, right? Yeah, we can you, probably we can try. Xbox yeah, get, Canada. Get we need an we Xbox need Canada. See, yeah, we'll try. See what we Even do. though they didn't sell that, that SpongeBob Xbox in Canada. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Definitely not Quebec. So, Definitely not. No, Quebec. not at all. No. <laughs> they all. can't get any of the prizes. <laughs> no. They cannot. It's true. Like they're often like like not eligible for draws and whatnot. It's weird. I don't understand. Why? It. I don't know. Thing? I don't know. Them in the territories, I believe. It's usually it's just like the nine provinces, um, like the provinces excluding Quebec, and then yeah, it usually mm -hmm. sometimes sometimes allows the territories. Yep. Um, because for listeners who weren't aware, we don't just have provinces. We have territories. Yeah, they're up there. Mm. Yeah, mm. there's three of them. Yeah. M me and Bowser here, I, I mean, I don't know anything about that. I'm a dumb American. Just saying. We got states. Yeah. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. <laughs> We're aware. It's Everybody definitely does. it's definitely not called the United States of America. No, no. no I mean, we got other stuff. Yeah, too. and we're called the sure. obvious ones with our names. You guys are like it's in the the United States of America. It's mm -hmm. the longest country name on planet Earth. True. Or as we have America. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank okay. you. We've shortened it up. Mur yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He figured it out. 
Yeah. Need a Daza, I know. I don't like it either, but a bunch of hillbillies did it. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. Dang. It's not my fault. We don't have Sorry. to encourage them. <laughs> no, we don't. You're trying. You know what? Bowser's right. I'm making that me. I'm making that uh, emo to my channel tomorrow. Bowser's right. All right. Are we done talking about Game Pass games? Was that it? Yeah, sure. Diablo. Yeah. Yeah. I want to play Diablo. I want to do that one too. Diablo yeah. on PC. Yeah. I want to max my Oops. PC out. Yeah. It was fun playing together when it first came out. It yep. For that first game. couple days. Yep. Let's do it. Sounds good. How about we bring the community into the carpool with us? We've got a Absolutely. question from Quaggy. He says, I just started Immortal Phoenix Rising and I'm about Ooh. seven hours in. So I'm really impressed. I wrote this game off at launch being a Breath of the Wild clone. And while it shows heavy inspiration from it, it does a lot of great things. The humor, movement kit, combat, or just a few things. I think it did better than Breath of the Wild and Taki. Jury is still out on how the rest of it is. My question, is there a game that most people say copied another but the imitation actually did certain aspects better than the copied original game. This is yep. such a good question. Holy crap. And I have an answer immediately. Well, what do you got, Mitch? Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite snap copied, from PUBG. PUBG. Yeah. Nice. Fortnite literally saw PUBG coming out. Fortnite, by the way, when it first came out, was not even a battle royale. That was a that was a game that had a yeah, save the world defense. thing. Yeah. Yep. It was not even a BR. Wow, and then that is PUBG the answer. happened, and Epic goes, "We can make that in a heartbeat." And Fortnite blew up. PUBG's still a thing, just to be clear. PUBG's not no scrub or whatever, right? It's still a game out there. It's still played by a ton of people. I know scrub isn't guy. Yeah, you know, okay, I'm not passenger doing that. side. Yeah, right? I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. But Fortnite, without a shadow of a doubt, did everything PUBG did better. Wow, was way more successful, and literally changed gaming forever. That's the easiest answer and the first answer that came to my mind. Uh, Fortnite. Easy. But Dang. again, though, I, I much... And the, like, what's funny is that's what stopped me from playing PUBG. I played PUBG on Xbox, and it ran like trash. It ran so bad. I had a 1X, and they were like, PUBG's coming to Xbox first, because that was when it was still on PC only. And I played it on Xbox, and it rammed it like 20 frames a second, and it looked terrible, and it just wasn't working well. And then I played Fortnite once. And it ran at 60 FPS and it looked pretty. And I literally stopped playing PUBG that day. Now, again, PUBG on computer ran so much better and all that stuff, but specifically on Xbox. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, uh, but no, real talk, Fortnite is, in my opinion, the best example. That might be the best answer. I don't think I have anything to top that, Mitch. You know, it, it probably for me would have been Immortal Phoenix Rising. I really enjoyed that <laughs> yeah. game. It's a, great, like, that's it's a good that, game. Yeah. But how about this? I'll go to something that doesn't exist yet. I want the top key clones. I want to see what you can do with that idea on better hardware. Yeah. So for those who don't listen to the Nintendo Drive, top key is the shorthand for Tears of the Kingdom, T O T T K, which yeah. we've changed to top key. Uh I think that's a great call. That's a yeah. great call. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I did play and beat that game after eight months of not playing it. I, that was the first game that I played before I started back up Hogwarts and I literally played it and I was just like, there's certain scenes in that game that I was like, bro, if this had competent hardware, if this had ray tracing, if this had any sort of awesome graphics, this scene would look so much better. But yeah. instead, I had to chug along at 25 FPS looking muddy, whatever. Mm. I was just, that game, yeah, that game should get copied. But also I think that's a very... There's a, apparently there's a lot of technical things in that game that people who are in the industry are like, I yeah. don't know how you did these things on this hardware. And I applaud Nintendo for being able to put that game on that hardware. But like, yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's, I hope there's people out there that could copy that and do it better. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like there was a lot of like weird stuff. Like people were talking about like some of the puzzles with like, they were just like, the fact that this is running and these physics are happening the way they are is crazy and like brand new and revolutionary. And I'm like, well, that's good to hear. I wish it just ran on better hardware. Hmm. Yeah. I don't have anything better. That's a, that, those are good answers. Good yeah. one. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of like other, I mean, the thing is you can't say it's like a copy, but like watchdogs and assassin's creed. I mean, I feel like there was like a whole, genre of like that third person action game where everybody was kind of copying everybody doing something different right i mean 
but you go back studio. to like GTA three and then everything was a GTA game. Yeah, that's that's the hard you know, like part. Saints Row, Crackdown, like those kind of things. But I don't know, uh, not quite like this. Like that, yeah. But the battle royale, like the the battle royale of battle royales early in those days, that was crazy. It, it's weird how they just. It's almost like it came out of nowhere. Like it's almost like they were like, "Oh man, PUBG's crazy," and they. I'm not going to say they threw it together, but it almost kind of was like, all of a sudden, there's going to be a battle royale of this. Oh yeah, and it's free. Yeah, and it's everywhere. And it's just, it's just wild how they were able to do that and then capitalize on it. And it's still, I, I, I have to say, like, just from my games that I play, it's one of the most influential games ever made. Like, it forced people to do crossplay. It forced mm. people to do cross progression. Like, it was a juggernaut of a game that's still a juggernaut of a game that still changes the game industry. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm very fortunate that Fortnite is everything. Yeah. On a much smaller scale, I'll give a shout out to uh, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Uh, very much a, like, I guess 2D uh, Banjo Kazooie, but more so plays like um, Donkey Kong Country to me, actually. But I don't, nice. I don't know if it's better. Like, I don't know if it, and again, like, nobody ever, right. like, that's why I really struggle with the question because there's a lot of copycat games. But I don't know that there's, like, a lot of times the ones who come out of the gate, like, that's the one that people remember. But, like, when you come second, you come third, and, and, and crush it like that. That's a good one. I like it. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah I can't think of any. Um, because I even, like, I was even trying to think of, like, niche things that yeah. I usually like. Um, because the only, for some reason, the very first thing that came to mind is, like, when you, this is going to be very obscure. Um, so when it comes to, like, games where, like, for example, um, Papers, Please, um, where you're playing a border security guard, if you're not aware, um, Glory to Ostroska. Um, you're playing a person who won the lottery, but then you're kind of like organizing, like you have to either say people can go across on the border or not. And there have been a lot of those for some reason recently there's been a like a kind of an influx of border patrol kind of like should we allow this through or not and i don't really i haven't really seen anything that's compared i always end it but then that was the complete opposite of the question so i was just like i can't think of anything <laughs> um, <Yeah>. because like <laughs> i'm really killing it right now um no i think it's really hard to because it's always good to like say like that's kind of like a bench um bench point yeah. but yeah um i I would have said Phoenix as well because I love that game. It's uh, a really good game. Yeah, and people so should play it. They should not turn your nose up at it. Uh, one other thing that came to mind while you're chatting, Fee, was um, shout out to the Life is Strange games that I would say sort of mm. like mimic in a way the Telltale games that were very, very popular. And as it turns out, those are the ones that are still kind of getting made at this point. Poor so, Telltale. Yeah. That's it. The Walking Dead was like game of the year at IGN and maybe the Game Awards. I feel like that in 2012. Yeah. Like that's cr I played that game on my iPad. Yeah. yeah. And now that whole studio is no more. Yeah. Unbelievable. Does, that's just weird that that happened. They have shout like out to Life is Strange games, games, man. Those are good. True Colors. Very good game. Like it a lot. I'll have to check out that Immortal Phoenix Rising game because I haven't played it. Yeah. And it's I like a Ubisoft it. game, so it's super cheap all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Don't you love those? Like when a game's yeah. on sale for count on I mean, all the time. No, because I bought that one day one because it came out like <laughs> right around my birthday. Like, no, I, I actually it, don't so. like it. Yeah, I bought a day one, but then I got a full refund for it. <gasps> Ooh, oh, what? Why? Yeah, it was yeah. The Stadia. Oh, should I hit the console? The died. Harrison, I had moved on. But, I think okay. from that point, I was already on the the new okay. consoles. I. What's funny is I'll talk about one of the games in our uh, main topic of the show that's actually on sale right now that everybody <laughs> the should main buy. topic. We're 90 minutes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should probably get through it. That was it for the we're community good. question. So yes, that was Ooh. all. Thank you. Appreciate the question. <laughs> it's going to be a nine hour show. You guys, what the heck? <laughs> Whose fault is that? I just want to point out you what showed you back up. What do you got to point not... fingers for? What, who's pointing fingers? What do you got? to? I'm not pointing fingers. You were wondering where to point the finger. I was. I was trying to get it right. I was trying to get it right. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. right. But I got, hold on. I got it figured out now. Okay, cool. It's all good. All good. <laughs> Just need to plan for bathroom breaks and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, everybody take 15. Yeah. Take 15. You guys want to take 15. <laughs> That's a break. How much time break did you have? Yeah, yeah. I, I just have one. Just have one. That's oh. why you're out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> it's like Austin Powers when they thaw him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is an awesome scene. That is a great scene. Absolutely. Man, 20-year-old reference for you. There you go. Yep. Everybody All right, what are we that. doing? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? What are You're we talking about You're supposed to be here? in charge of this part, Mitch. Sorry. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um, so one of the things that on the rest of the carpool shows that they were talking about is their uh, favorite games on, on the consoles. Now, I do want to point out something. Some of us here have some favorite games that are exclusive to the console. Some of us have some favorite games that were acquired by a console manufacturer, but it still counts. Still people. counts. Playable on Xbox. That's all Playable we're here on to Xbox. do. Playable, Playable on, on Xbox. Xbox. That's it. So uh, who wants to volunteer and go first? Well, I doing? will go ahead, and I just I'm going to say one thing before I toss it over to okay, Bowser, who I think uh, who just I just cut off um, Nagachaka, who is a, a, an illustrious host on the PlayStation Drive. Um, I mentioned this on the Nintendo Drive. Here I am on, on the Xbox Drive, mentioning it again. Nagachaka tried to combine two games into one. He said The Last of Us Part One and Part Two were a single entry because he considered them uh, a single experience. We are not condoning this sort of nonsense, okay? <laughs> but if we were to condone this sort of nonsense, I do have a selection of Nagachaka games that we could highlight if we were to entertain this sort of nonsense. And these games are the Mass Effect Legendary Collection, the <laughs> Orange Box, all Guitar Hero games, the Master Chief Collection, and the Dragon Age Trilogy. Those are my Nagachaka selections for best Xbox games that you would At consider least... one experience. But, of course, we're not entertaining that nonsense. So it's just <laughs> At least some of the sake. ones you listed, like, you can buy it as a package deal. That's true. You That's cannot true. buy The Last of Us Part 1 and 2 together. You yes. sure can't. That's right. No, okay, the no Dragon Age collection. Trilogy, then, yeah. <laughs> is my question. Master Chief Collection is totally a valid entry for this list. Oh, okay, okay. I'll put it out there. That's valid. You, that's one thing. I, it's I a purchase. It's a single it. It's a single SKU. It's yeah. a single SKU. I like SKU. it. Okay, yeah, we got to have rules. one icon yeah. on my Xbox. We live screen. in a society. Now now that that's said, I just, I just edited my, my rules going. It's fine. We, I just edited one of my Okay, so you can't have all Guitar Hero games, but you can have the Orange Box. Which shout out to the Orange Box. What a wild time, man, for the 360. So that was Half Life 2, Team Fortress, um, Portal. Portal was on there for the first time. Like, we'd never seen Portal before. Holy crap, dude. The 360 was a wild time. Holy cow. We could do retrospectives on all the consoles on this show. We do whatever we want. Like, we've got new hosts. It's you our know, show. with Ryan for like 40 years. So, yeah, we're all set. We can do whatever we want over here. Facts. Absolutely. Facts. Big facts. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess since you cut off Bowser, we'll go ahead and here. <laughs> Show me the Carfax. Show me the Carfax, buddy. Uh, Bowser, what would be your top five games? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to do five and then a round, or how, how do you guys want to do? You want to uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we definitely should have talked about this before the show, though. How do you want to do this? Or you could have listened to how the other shows did it. We just copied that. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. I could have done that too. Sean, Absolutely. you tell us. You're the you want to go do ahead. five? You want to give us your five? We'll go around. We'll, we'll, we'll go around round robin style. Round robin. Okay. Yes. Round Whatever robin. that means. All right, Bowser. Clockwise your, or counterclockwise? What's your number five <laughs> and any honorable mentions that you want to throw in there for no reason? <laughs> I think my number five is going to be a Plague Tale. Ooh. The first one. The first I don't one. like that game. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Ainsworth okay. does like that game a lot. Or can I put them both Sean together? Goes, ah, I don't like it at all. Go on. Do both. Say both of them because mm -hmm. why not? There are no rules here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the first one was just. Actually, my number four and my number five, I feel the same way about. Um, they both were kind of like smaller contained experiences that have either recently gotten a sequel that's much bigger and better or is due soon for a sequel that is much bigger and better. But yeah, I don't know why the rats don't bother me in this game. They should bother me in this game, but I think the rats. Hugo and Amicia, they just win it over for me. So I love it. I love this game. Great to hear. That's all there is. You need to play it. Sick. You should play Add it. Add it to my list. Sick. Put it on the list. <laughs> <laughs> You'll play with rats. You'll be fine. Right. All right. We'll go counterclockwise, whatever that means. Did you counterclockwise. Clock I know. You just said three things at once somehow. What? <laughs> I tripped up. There was something in my throat. <laughs> I'm just Let me have a drink of my Diet Pepsi. I need to drink yeah. more of this Diet Pepsi. Your swamp right, water. Fee, go on. What's so your number five? <laughs> Thank okay. you, Bowser. All right. 
my number five is a really cute game that I think should get a new version. It's Viva Pinata. Um, hey. I love this game. Now, I haven't played too, too much of it. Now, you might say, like, well, why are you choosing a game that you haven't played much about? Well, come at me, first of all. That <laughs> voice. <laughs> I think she's doing an impression of me. Oh, you haven't played much of a game. (laughs) That's a joke. She's doing an impression of me right now. Okay, so no, I think, like, and I've discussed this at length at the beginning when we first started um, as a group of co-hosts on this podcast, that for the longest time I hadn't, like, I didn't play too many Xbox games. There were a few that were standouts for me, but I think Viva Pinata really stood out because it is... For me, I thought it was very unique to the console at the time when I first played it. First of all, for people who love, like, Bug Snacks and, like, Slime Rancher, like, you should definitely play this game if you haven't already. Um, You get to literally raise pinatas, guys. It is adorable. Now, mind you, can you pop a pinata? Maybe. Um, But we'll not talk about that. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, It's fine. Um, It's the breeding you want to talk about. (laughs) <laughs> not well you know what just like finding pinatas and like collecting them and then also like raising your community it's really cute um so would highly recommend it it's i yeah we just saw the death of a pinata it's fine um it's it's cool um yeah it's just i really like the style of it it's something i always like think about like whenever i think of like older xbox i kind of think of eva pinata so that's just something that stood out to me yeah, Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata was a game that I think confused the Xbox community back then because it was also like this is 360 era, right? And Halo, Halo mm-hmm. 3, Gears is coming out on there. Like this is Bioshock time, this is Mass Effect time. And then all of a sudden, like Viva Pinata shows up, which arguably arguably is like one of the most iconic of the, like it, it it deserves to sit up there with the typical halo gears in my opinion because it's just so creative and bright and colorful and it like unique but i don't think like i said i don't think xbox players knew what to do with this um sort of the similar to like sort of like a katamari game like what do you what are we supposed to do but i feel like now in a post animal crossing new horizons era like this game would crush if, if they had a new one or if mm-hmm. they just brought a remaster or something like that like Viva Pinata is such a great pick. Uh, I only played it for a few, I guess, a few dozen hours between the first and the second game. Uh, so I, I couldn't launch it all the way up to number five, but it definitely deserves to be recognized in this list. I love it. Mm-hmm. Nice one. Thank you. Great job. Which one's yours, Sean? What's your pick? Number Ooh. five pick. Um, speaking of shooters, I was all playing shooters in the 360 era. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, you know? Um but speaking of games that that valve made i just want to make sure i'm not going to like steal the wrong video here as i want to show you guys what this is um mm-hmm. this game took the world by storm couch co-op extraordinaire uh left for yes. dead Ooh. this game yeah, was so buddy. fun to play and in again sort of like now we think about games being uh what is it called when they're sort of like made up on the spot when the levels make up themselves progressively procedurally generated procedurally generated thank you um i remember reading an article in like pc gamer back in the day about like the there's like an active director that determines like how well you're doing and then it will pull back and not give you quite as many like great uh weapons or not as much ammo or less health and everything like that um this game came before the overwatches and the hero based shooters and everything and it just like took at least my world by storm because you just wanted to get through whatever it was four levels um and all sorts of really unique different types of zombies for over the top characters in over the top situations of violence was was so crazy you got the witch that you can't make any noise next to otherwise she'll scream and chase after you and somebody's definitely gonna die um just incredible zombie design incredible just base gameplay you you don't aim down sights in this you're just firing away you're gonna throw a bomb you're gonna throw a flashbang over here you're gonna make some noise and it's just i just think this game they don't make them like this anymore they made a second game and then they i feel like they had some sort of patch so that it runs at a decent frame right now on on modern hardware you played the old games but uh left for dead dude we played this a ton very replayable even though like i said four scenarios that you're gonna run through um but it was very, very cool. We hadn't seen anything like it on it. Dude, this game is so awesome. It's such a good game. And like yeah, the so multiplayer good. was really good. And like that 
the one round you play as the humans, the next round you play as the zombies. Like it's phenomenal. I forgot. I, I don't want to say I forgot about it, but like I kind of did. I was just like, wait a minute. That was a great game. I think Back a lot for, of people did. A lot of people did. Back for Blood, not as much. I really wish that game was great. But it's oh, not, yeah. Unfortunately. Um, but no, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 were. And 2 was very much. I don't want to say it, but 2 was very much like a DLC in a way. Like if people were like, oh, it's not that much more or better. No, that game was still awesome. Shut up. Like everybody yeah, loved it's that. It's still game. very good. Like, it's mm -hmm. still very good. So yeah, no, dude, that is a great game. Great yeah, Left 4 Dead, up. number five for me. Mm hmm. Appreciate that. Over to you, Mitch. So I didn't realize that we were ranking top five, like one through five. It's okay. Uh, Amanda I, I, didn't rank. Amanda didn't rank? Okay. Yeah, she just named uh, them. Two honorable mentions, I'll say. Um, one, Kingdom Under Fire. I had mentioned it the other Ooh. week. No, it's such a weird niche game that not a lot of people played. I but don't Kingdom know Under anything Fire about it. It is awesome. It is a mix of like Dynasty Warriors style hack and slash mixed with an RTS. Uh, you had like enemies that you had to like you know armies that you would tell to go to attack certain places but then you had a hero and when you chose that person it was straight up dynasty warriors hack and slash very small community of people that played it but it was super fun it was only on xbox it was like 20 bucks when it came out it was awesome uh yeah it had these giant scale battles like this it, it's just a weird niche game that maybe not a lot of people played but it was like there was a sequel and let's just say that everybody who bought that game day one was so into that game. So like when that game came out, it was phenomenal. Uh, the other one is Phantom Dust. Um, there super it is. Fun. Again, yeah, super fun game. I won't say it's top five ever, but like, again, that game deserves attention. That game's phenomenal. Um, I'm not going to put any of my games in any particular order just because I really can't. Like there, there's just things about each game that I love with all my heart and I just can't put them in order. They're like my children. Um, I'll say number five. Or in the Blind Forest. Even though technically it is not an Xbox game because it is multi-platform, that game came out on Xbox first. That game is amazing. And its sequel is also amazing. Um, Metroidvania style game. No dialogue in the game whatsoever, but tells an amazing story. Has great characters. Graphics were great. Um, difficult at times, but it is phenomenal. Like that owl scares the hell out of you. That thing is such a good game. It's so good. And again, it's available on other platforms. I don't care what platform you play it on. I played it on Xbox because that's what it was out on first. And that was definitely one of those games. Like, again, when people were thinking of Xbox, everybody thinks bro shooters and Call of Duty and all these things. And this was the game that, like, I remember when this was announced. I don't know if it was announced when the Xbox One got announced or shortly after. Yeah. But it was definitely one of those games that, like, what's that? Like, what's that type of Gorgeous. game, right? And it's mm -hmm. gorgeous. And by the way, on like the newer hardware, uh, they did do updates to it. It's so good. The puzzles are so good. Like it can be very frustrating at times um, as far as like just the punishment of like making sure that you do this perfect or else you're going to die. Um, but it's, yeah, I can't say anything bad about this game whatsoever. And then the sequel, again, I'm not going to say which one's better, whatever. Just this genre, this franchise in general is great. And one play. experience, just one both experience. games. I, I again, one, yeah, you could say one experience, sure, if you want to. If not, we're gonna do that, no, you're not. No, <laughs> no, no, it is. But like I said, like it's the upgrade system's good, the combat's good, like yes. everything about this Traversal. game is so mm -hmm. damn good. Yep, uh, and it keeps you getting upgrades up until the end. It's on Game Pass, I believe. Yep. Go play it; it's phenomenal. So, I'm with you, man. This is again like there's maybe a theme here where Xbox fans don't know how to celebrate some games enough. This is as good as gaming gets. Yeah. in my opinion like this is excellent and it's like oh my gosh we didn't we had a chance to make it just incredible and 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 well renowned and we just sort of went like yeah that's good and that's a that's a shame it no yeah more more people should play that game it was yep. it was phenomenal and like i said i'm not preference to like one over the other just i don't care. i feel the same play, way play mm -hmm. one and by the way it's not one of those like oh do i need to play the first one no just you can play either one yeah. of them they're yep. phenomenal they're their own true. separate stories like they're great so bowser what about your number four? Number four. Well, if you've been paying attention and you know one of my most anticipated games for this year is the sequel, my number four game is Hellblade. Yes. What a game. I came into it pretty late. And one of my friends said, you need to try this. Put your headphones on and play it. And it scared the crap out of me. I don't usually like scary games, but this was just enough of that, like, 
I don't know, just creepy vibes. Not, not terrifying. Not the jump scares, you know? Um, and much like Plague Tale, like, it was a smaller, contained experience. Had a lot of good things going for it. And now they're working on a sequel that looks like it's going to be awesome. So I cannot wait for, what is it, a couple months now till the sequel comes oh, out. Oh, yeah. Two Holy months, crap. Yeah. It's coming May, soon. May something, yeah. This this was planning. It's going to be May. Gonna, it's yeah. going to be May. <laughs> exactly. That was going to be the game I was going to play before. Like, I want to finish Hogwarts to be able to play Hellblade 1 and then go right into yeah. Hellblade 2. That was, like, the, the thought process of trying to get that done. But, yeah, I'm, like, very much... I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Yeah, what a good pick. It's a good one. And it's very pretty, too. Like, the game is... And uh, the second one looks ridiculous. And I have to play it again because I think it was the early days of Quick Resume messed up my Chivos. So uh, oh, no. I'm going to go back in and clean it up. Because I did the collectibles one. That worked. Mm -hmm. But there's, like, ones where you beat this boss. They didn't pop, but beating the final boss did. I don't know why it didn't detect that i did the other ones whatever nice i'll clean it up b mm. what's your number four okay so i'm gonna actually mix it up slightly i'm gonna yes. give it an honorable mention nice. the reason why is because when we were talking about making this list i'm like okay i need to figure out what i can add on this list <laughs> And I found a game that I love so freaking much. And now I know that it's on, I can play on cloud gaming. You best believe next week I'm going to be talking about this. It's Loop Hero. I played so much Loop Hero on Steam. I love this freaking game. It's by Devolver Digital. It is a strategy roguelike where essentially the entire world has gone into complete and utter darkness and an abyss. Um, and you're trying to find out why you've lost all of your memories and you have to go coincidentally in a loop and try to continue um, and find areas to find what like find essentially pieces of your memory so the more bosses that you complete and the further that you get in the loop the more information that you might get um and the more um ing not ingredients but materials that you can take back to camp to build out your camp to get more people to come to your camp and maybe they'll give you some information this game Oh, I put so many, so many hours into this. <laughs> and not only that, at the time, anyone I talked to, if they listened to me, they just got this game. I gifted it to them. <laughs> Why? Because I love this game so much that I just wanted everyone to play this game and I wanted more people to talk to about it. To the point that I was able to get two other people to add this on their game of the year in 2023. They were like, a, we were so obsessed with this game um so for that reason i'm giving that an honorable mention now that wasn't your number four oh, no not even <laughs> <laughs> it was my honorable you did, mention. You did she, such a great did. job I, i'm sorry that. i must have missed it i was looking up the trailer to, to bring up on the video here you do this is why i love having you guys on the show Fiona. you do such a great job i've never heard anybody describe that game like that i just hear people kind of go like I'm nerding out about, about Loop Hero, blah, 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 and then just end. And it's like I didn't know that's what was happening. The g gaining more information and like I just that that's what really like sold it for me. I thought that was really interesting. Yes. So that's a, a good honorable mention. That's <laughs> a, <laughs> impassioned honorable mention. Yes. Mm. Okay. So my number four. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> is Chinatown Detective Agency now? The reason why I chose this game is because I played the demo of this a long time ago. Um, and I instantly fell in love with it. I love detective games and I like point and click adventures. This, if you are a fan of either, I can tell you right now, it is on a whole other level. The reason why is you have to not only use the game itself, but they recognize like, hey, when people play these games, you usually cheat. And for that reason, we're going to make some of the like investigations so difficult that you actually have to use the internet. They know you're going to have to use the internet to find information. Like there is one of the first um, particular um, sections that you have to complete to figure out some clues is finding out when specific stamps were made. And you have to find out which country these stamps came from. So some of them, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, you go into Google and type like, okay, well, this maybe looks Mediterranean. So then you type 
type that into actual Google. And then there's no information in the game. You have to utilize Google in the search bar. There is an actual option where it says like user guide and like to find more information and it takes you to Google. It's just like, you <laughs> wow. have to Google this. Um, so it's a lot of trying to utilize the game, but also your own search engine. And I personally love that. Um, and the whole entire premise is recently um, the main character has opened up her own agency and some crazy things are occurring. She was a very well-known detective and there's three different routes that you can take. Um, there's three different storylines and it really depends on what storyline you take will morph the actual storyline overall. Um, I personally didn't get to finish this game, but if you love these types of games or if this is something that you might be interested in, totally recommend it. Holy cow. It is also all voice acted, which is crazy. Um, so totally go check it out. Um, I love it. If you play it, let me know because I geeked out about this so hard. Um, and I hate the fact that I didn't go back and actually finish it because there are some crazy things that happen and I was not expecting it whatsoever. Um, yeah, really cool times. I also just like the fact that they're like, hey, F you guys, you're going to be using Google. I think that was like <laughs> the thing for me was just like, okay, see the stamps? You have to Google that. You have to go find the answers. And you get bonus points if you can say like the specific year or where in that particular country these particular stamps or this particular um, wine bottle or whatever it might be. If you can tell the actual location, you get bonus points. And then you get more information because you got those bonus points. Yeah. Nice. That's number four. I love that uh, Fee and I are back to back here because you have a very fiona set of games and i have a very just like these are xbox games like the games that i have like everybody knows about um there there's no there's no secret hidden gems in my list um but like a couple of my honorable mentions include things like of course doom 2016 bioshock on the 360 all the tiger woods games i'll, I'll bundle those up <laughs> as a as a single experience, experience as well um, and before I jump into my number four game, I also want to let people know that right after this episode, we're, when we're done recording this episode, jump into the Discord. Uh, under the We Love Lists um, channel is where we will post our lists as well as we're inviting the community to, to send in your top five uh, Xbox lists along with the Nintendo uh, games there as well. And then the PlayStation Drive started this all off with just games in general. So if you like lists, if you're enjoying this sort of like exercise, I want I love hearing about um, what people have enjoyed playing over the years. So this is a great way to do that. So please jump into the Discord. The links are in the show notes and everything. Uh, so do that. It's a great time over in the Discord. And we've got, again, still tons of people watching us and hanging out with us here at youtube.com slash carpool gaming. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to, to hit the like button and join the Discord. That's where all the fun is happening. So my number four, Mitch, is a is a game that everybody played you, 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 you got a gun it's got a chainsaw on the end of it i'm gonna go with the sequel gears 2 gets the edge on all of them because it was the first one that introduced horde mode and i gotta tell you guys horde and this is like a horde in like the purest form it didn't go crazy it didn't have like you could just play just get up to level 50 and it was incredible um gears just overall of course this is about maybe a, as expected a pick as possible but fee has a question or are you just like twiddling your, your fingers over no there? i'm just actually shocked that my cat's chill so oh I'm okay i'm oh, sorry you're trying to get my attention okay cat. she's fee's, <laughs> fee's playing with her cat over there speaking uh, of uh, gears there's a gears controller right there oh i've got another i've got a gears xbox mac there ah i see i see i yep. see okay. that's very cool i love the gears games I, and i don't apologize for it i feel like maybe it's a to a certain extent maybe a little bit cliche um but that was a game it was one of the last ones that i i picked up just by chance like i, I legit looked at the cover i flipped the box over to the other side and we're like i think this game looks pretty good and i brought it home and it turned out to be like <laughs> one of the most important games in the franchises in in xbox land so shout out to all the gears games of course gears 5 gears 4 like all those those are very good um but my number four spot spot is is saved for gears 2 with a special shout out to horde mode man very very cool agreed uh, you, I have Mitch. a Gears game on my list, but I will I will put that a little oh. bit higher just for me. Okay. Um, uh, if we're going to go in order, I kind of started ordering them, but that's fine. Uh, number four <laughs> for me 
uh, was Rock Band. And specifically, I'm going to say this, uh, Rock Band 3. Now, okay. the reason why I say that, well, it's, it's funny. So one of the most proud achievements that I have in all of gaming, period, actually came from Rock Band 2. Uh, it's called The Bladder of Steel, where basically you have to play every single song oh, yeah. in the Rock Band 2 set list without yeah. pausing or failing. Mm-hmm. I did that on expert guitar. So I actually got two achievements in one. I did not fail a single expert guitar song. I did not pause it. I plugged in my controller so the battery didn't die. And I played that thing. It was, it was like four and a half or five hours straight of, of Capital G Gamer, man. Holy yes, cow. That was like, I remember my wife was leaving for the day and I was like, I have no kids. I have no wife. I thought you were just going to no say wife my, my wife was leaving. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. My wife left. No, no, no. no. My <laughs> wife was leaving yeah, for the day. I had no kids. And I was just like, I could actually do this right now before work. And I did. I it. love it. And uh, it got spicy towards the last like five songs because those got real difficult. But I stuck with it and I did. It's a long that. time looking at those it notes. A long, flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And also just sitting there and like half the songs were just mind numbing for me because I was, I played Guitar Hero and Rock Band all the time. Um, but the big thing I was going to do a shout out for specifically for Rock Band 3, and this was something that was exclusive to Xbox that I appreciated. And that's why I say Rock Band 3 over 2. But 3 had a thing called Rock Band Network. Yeah. So what it was is Rock Band Network was actually a way for local artists or artists that weren't signed to actually get their music on Rock Band without having to have some big label or some big push or something. So it was a way for them to get their stuff in there. No joke, some of the bands that got put in there were like artists I've never heard of a day in my life. But then there were artists that were just awesome that for whatever reason just couldn't get their stuff in Rock Band through normal channels and put their stuff in there, like A Day to Remember. Such a great band. Their songs were in Rock Band Network. And I'm just like, how on earth were you who is a majorly a band on a major label how are you not able to just get your stuff through their normal channels didn't matter so you had like your normal weekly list which they were doing all the way up until just recently which is still insane and then you had this rock band network stuff and it was a great way and like artists got more of a cut of the money uh those songs weren't on other platforms so i mean like literally they were only on this option and eventually they did like the best of rock band network songs on other platforms. You know, they kind of like saw what sold well and put it on the other platforms. But like, that was just an amazing game. And then they added pro drums, which I, I started playing drums. What's funny, I got that expert guitar thing, but I actually swapped to drums because uh, I like drums better. So they added pro drums where they had the separate symbols compared to this. They had keyboard, which I still have the keyboard, although I'm trash at it. So there's just a lot of cool things and again, if you want to think about the evolution of it, Rock Band 3 was ult- the ultimate. It had pro guitar. It had pro drums. It had harmonies with three-person harmonies. It had keyboard. It had everything. And all your content still carried over. Like, it was like the ultimate Rock Band experience. And uh, that whole Guitar Hero Rock Band genre was amazing. And I, there are times where I miss it because parties were awesome with that. Very, very many times of my friend drunk singing Disturbed, which I will remember to this day. Nice. Um, but yes, no, uh, Rock Band 3 overall, you know, just great game. Love it. Love it. Miss it. They have a new guitar that's out, by the way. Speaking of new things, they actually have a guitar you can buy right now. Brand new that just got released uh, that I might buy just for nostalgia purposes and doing Clone Hero on PC. But um, yeah, there's a lot of just memories that are from that time. That's our I still have. That's the only reason, by the way, that I still have a 360. I have a 360 upstairs that's got like 800 songs on it. And I refuse to get rid of it because some of those are rock band network songs that they never put on any of the other platforms for that reason. So it's the only reason why I still got a 360. So hell yeah. Yep. Bowser, what about your number three now? Uh, number three, not an Xbox exclusive in any way, shape or form, but something I'm pretty proud of that I played and beat. Not only beat, got all thousand gamer score points without save scumming. Oh, and that is why are you pointing at me, Elden Ring. I didn't point at you. I pointed <laughs> it generally. You have the thousand out of a thousand in Elden Ring. I do. That's I'm pro gamer. Look out. She yeah, she's pro gamer. I'm not pro. Gamer. I tried to save scum to get all the endings and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I had to go back and play <laughs> the darn game through again. That's at least crazy. it was it was more fun the second and third playthroughs because. I was like over leveled and powerful, so. And you knew what you were doing, and just you knew all the bosses. And yeah, just everybody. Ran yeah, it was <laughs> nice. awesome. 
Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I have a love hate relationship with this game. It was my first FromSoft game. It's hard, very hard. But what I like about it is you can just turn around and walk away and go level up and go find another weapon or spell or whatever it is and have better chance the next time. So. I, I might need a Sherpa. I might need to a thousand gamer score on this game is no joke, man. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That's like such a, a like my bladder of steel achievements. Nothing real talk. I just I just had five hours to kill. You you went through some stuff. How long, yeah. That. How long did that take you? It was like I five and a half know. hours. I think you're talking about her. Not me. Yeah, her. Okay, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we moved on to Bowser's topic <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> it's my turn now. I don't know. Is that sure me and you? Uh, Xbox stats, six days, 12 hours, 59 minutes. Six days. Six days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. I got this... really stuck at the, like, the ending boss. I was stuck there for days. Oh, that's crazy. That's, what is it about these games? Mad. I don't know. That they, sense of accomplishment after they being hold one us. of these bosses. Yeah. That's what it is. It's like brutal, but then when you beat a boss, you feel like a god. You're like, yes, yeah. let's go. Oh, man. It's yeah, on the list. Just play, Sean. And it's then on the list. Do yeah. the DLC Mine when too. it comes out. Very cool. Nice. Good pick. I like it. I like seeing a recent game on on list like this. Yep. Fee, Very cool. How about you? Number three. Okay. Well, here's the deal. So this is, I'm only putting this on number three because I think it's like, ironic. Um, mostly because it has a three in the title. We're taking a trip to the wasteland, everybody. Yes. We're going to Fallout 3. Yes. Um, I, this was my introduction to the series, like a lot of others. Um, and holy freaking cow, this game just, like, got its talons into me and has, like, taken over my life since then. Um, I played this on actual Xbox, everybody. Look, Fiona hey. actually played on an Xbox console. Whoa. Yeah. So I... Um, my boyfriend let me borrow his Xbox 360 one Christmas and I played X like I specifically played Fallout 3 and I like it's a distinct like engraved memory that I spent time during the Christmas holidays just playing this game I cannot tell you one how frustrating it can be in some cases two if i never have to see that green kind of like tone ever again i won't be upset um but it's it's just such a good game um it's oh man if you have the opportunity to they're available go 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 download it um, game, yeah game pass. game pass it's available yeah. on game pass you have no excuse um unless you don't have game pass then i'm sorry um, but yeah, going through the Capital Wasteland, listening to the 1930s to 1940s music as you're killing everything above the sun um, and just kind of avoiding all like throwing caution to the wind, essentially. Um, it is I don't even like it's an experience. There's like things I want to say, but at the same time, I'm just like, I don't want to say it either because I'm like, I don't want to like spoil anything. But like, I love the fact that like if I ever see the number 101, I'm just like, oh my God, my literal parking space outside of my building is 101. And I'm like, every time I just, <laughs> <laughs> it is like, oh my God, it's an experience. Mind you, I did not play any of this game in first person. Um, but you did not play it in first person? No, absolutely not. Okay. I could okay, not do easy. it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, Jeez. I wasn't, I wasn't trying just to Just asking. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, it just brings yeah, back I mean, so many memories. This was such a, an imaginative game. Like, there's very few people who like really played Fa Fallout One and Fallout Two, and mm -hmm. uh, which were very different games, of course, and all the other uh, top-down more RPG style games or CRPG style games. This was one that just like we hadn't really seen anything quite like it. The VAT system was we liked it back then. It became sort of a like a joking point after time but it was like this world like it just is a place you want to be i i think more fondly of this game than four and i don't know if that's like legit but for whatever reason this is one of those games and i think dragon age is another one that uh i just felt like oh i can play these games these big rpg games i hadn't really played anything so i'm right with you fee like um fallout 3 is up there for me as well and it's just like i'd never seen anything like it you know yeah 
and it was a game that I like didn't what like it was not something that I would want like I would have usually selected for myself. Yeah. Um, because I played like I was coming from the age of playing a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, I did play um God of War, and I also played um um the um through the um the oh my goodness the Bioshock trilogy. Um, and so I was trying to branch out a little bit, and then um Lucas was just like, "Hey, you should try this game," and I'm like, "Nah." Um, which it's usually a lot of the time, a lot of the games that I'm like now obsessed with, he introduced me to. Um, and it was just like, I was kind of like, I didn't really pay attention um, when he explained the game multiple times to me. And then one day he's just like, you need to play this game. I'm putting this down, like, here's the controller. I'm turning on the console, play this game. And then I played it for like 12 hours straight. Oh yeah. Um, so oh, it is so good. Oh my God. It's well worth it. Good pick. Fallout 3, man. <laughs> I love it. Riley's comment. Fee played um, an Xbox, um, played a game on the Xbox, Lisa and Al Gaib, which is from Dune. Dune. Thank you so much, yes. Riley, for bringing that up. <laughs> we brought oh. Dune back to the podcast. Yes. Hell yeah. Week two. Nice one. Well, for me, my number three, again, uh, you got to have a Halo game on a list like this. Best games on Xbox. For me, the one that stands out and I don't know if this is a controversial take or not. I don't think it is. Um, but I'm not a purist for Combat Evolved uh, at all. I'm not, like, uh, going crazy over Halo 2 for its multiplayer like a lot of people do. For me, the one that stands out as being very memorable and it's for its campaign is Halo Reach. And shout out to this game, man, because this and ODST were games that came out and it wasn't Master Chief. So there's a lot of reason why the, why the internet was wanting to play games as Master Chief. But here we are playing a bunch of Spartans on, I'm not going to, like, it's a weird thing to maybe dance around spoilers because the game is so old at this point, but it's worthwhile. If you've missed this, um, they ended up adding it to the Master Chief Collection. There's all the opportunity in the world to play this if you have an Xbox right now or PC. Um, and Halo Reach is so fun to play by yourself or co-op. You can play through this campaign with friends, and it's the, I mean... It really is the ending that just like hammers it home. It's so much fun. And I do prefer it over ODST. And like I said, the 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 story is just it's very straightforward. There's nothing really all that complicated here to to wrap your head around. Um, but what these characters go through and what they stand for, I just think is very, very special. And I'd love to see Halo do this a little bit more. And this this could launch me onto a whole other tirade about Halo that um, I don't really want to do right now, but it was just so, this was memorable. And I love, I, I miss this era of Xbox to a certain extent where they just, they went for it, man. And I know this was Bungie and Bungie's doing a different thing now, but freaking Halo Reach gets number three for me, Mr. Mitch. Yo, you muted. Oh, you, you, you oh, dude. Halo, oh, oh. oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We're good, we're good. Halo three, or Halo Reach is really, I mean, that, that was also, uh, campaign a month on that one was top tier. That's the one thing I would definitely yep. say. Um, my number three also happens to have a three in the title. It's Gears 3. Oh, nice. Pers okay. Pers personally, and again, like three, the one thing for me is like it tied up the story. And that's kind of one of the things like two, again, two story was great. It had a very emotional moment with, you know, Dom and his wife, which Etc. I want to Yeah. Uh, Gears 3 had a very good story as well very emotional moments also added four player co-op which i was a fan of because all the other ones are two player co-op but me and my buddies played a lot of multiplayer so when all four of us would then get a chance to actually play the campaign together i thought it was great um they did a really good job with the story mode um the actual ending of the game is great um there was like some things that were definitely different like they de you know they didn't have just the chainsaw gun they had the the bayonet on the end of it where you can right here. I think he might run straight at this dude and stab him in the, f yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, so like there was a lot of cool things that were in this game though. Um, again, they had this, they had the sawed off shotgun, which was just different varieties. This was also the game where you could start carrying more than just two guns. Like you had more options, like your pistol, your two guns, your grenades. Um, graphically it looked insane. The set pieces were huge and nuts. Yeah, this is still um, 360. Over. Yeah, this is still 360 picking up people like that like it's just throw a grenade on them push them away go oh home. wow game yeah. is great it's so good um and i won't knock four and five like overall gears i i do love gears as a franchise um 
something about one through three, just again, tight story. Could have ended it there if you wanted to, right? Not upset that they did the whole Star Wars Force Awakens treatment and did that with four and five. You have your new crew sure. with your old crew. But um, yeah, there's just something like Dude. Gear 3 was peak Gears. That was such a fun game. And of course, Horde Mode got better. Everything got better. Like, that's the best part is like when a game's good, like two, and you just improve on it with better, like, you can't really get mad at it. So yeah, this was still 360 era. Um, I have the limited edition Marcus right there, kneeling down. I have that. I bought that was the I want to say this is actually the first limited edition game that I bought. Nice. Like yep. I, I didn't buy the Halo one because it was the cat helmet. It was small. I would you know it wouldn't fit on your head. But like Is that the one with is, like the really thick, like the tall box? Like it's um like it's got the cog on front of it, like uh the the metal yeah, cog. So, is that the one? Yeah, the actual game case has like the metal cog on it. Yeah. And it's got Marcus's dad's name on it, which I'm blanking on right now. And then it has the statue, which, and the cool thing too is the box that it came in could open up and yes. have like the whole backdrop of the game with the statue in the middle. Yeah. Um, but no, like this is the game that, I, this is the first one that I was like, sure, I'll spend $150 on the game um, because I just, I love Gears so much. This is yeah. many late nights playing multiplayer with my friends. Gears 3 is phenomenal. I would love it to death if you gave me a Master Chief collection style re redo oh, these big games, times for the love of god mm -hmm. also really shameful gears two and three aren't on pc no option to play them on pc only oh, gears one sucks. was on gears one was on pc they did the remaster on pc and then four and five were newer so those were obviously on the you know pc but two and mm. three aren't and that sucks because these stories are awesome and they should be played by more people so hopefully they do a master chief style collection get you better graphics put you on pc so everybody can play these games it's time they are awesome it is really totally great. time they do the 360 i'll shout out the gears games and then the uncharted games we've got three of them in the same console three generation each. man yeah like and i don't know maybe there's a sense of that's too much you can oversaturate or whatever but there's something about like completing a, a, a narrative arc across three games within a single console generation i miss it i, I like personally that yeah I, I think that was awesome we could still get gear six whenever i mean obviously coalition's working on something obviously they haven't that's the crazy it. thing like gears could miss a console generation gears 5 was xbox one wasn't i it? i think what's that gears 5 was xbox one one like it came out on like at the one uh -huh. x point in time like yeah yeah like we don't have a uh, we don't have a gears game on series x not yet and all you I know maybe like is launching I, into it is what i mean yeah as a, oh yeah i get what you're saying yeah i can't wait for them though because like i said uh they also, this was back when Epic owned it, and like that—that that was they were pushing Unreal Engine to its like oh, absolute craziest. So like, graphically, that game was insane. Um, but I am looking forward to Gear Six whenever that decides to come out. I'd love for you not to tell me a thing until six months before it comes out. Tell me Same. it's a game, and then come out. I'd love that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Gears, Gears Three, lots of fun stuff there. Nice pick. I like it. Yep. Wax poetic about Gears. Absolutely. Bowser. All right, I think we're up to number two now. Yeah, had a little bit of toss up of which game in the franchise I was going to include here, but I think I settled on Forza Horizon number four. And what really pushed me over was the Lego expansion to that. <laughs> yep, that's where I spent a lot of time. I think I so played, unexpected. I played five probably more hours than four, but that yeah, that Lego was fun. I just love running around smashing and stuff. That's the way it's got to be. But man, just the, the arcadey play of the Forza Horizon series. I love that. I don't want to be too serious. I want to run people off the road. That's how I drive. Man, what a good call, Bowser. Because like, I I definitely prefer 5 and 3. But those are the games with the Hot Wheels DLC. This game got Lego. And this is the way to do it. Like, you're absolutely right. Lego on, and Forza, it's such a perfect mix. And these great looking cars and Ferraris and like Lego style. Oh, this was great. I, I nearly forgot about this. I almost wrote it off because I, I, I prefer five much so much more than this. Yep. But man, what a good call. I actually sat, um, Luke Lore and I, previous host of the Xbox Drive, um, we were doing that show together back when this came out and I think it was 2019. We got to go to E3 and we got to sit in a Lego car, actually. Nice. That's awesome. So, so cool, man. Um, but yeah, good good call. I like having a DLC kind of highlighted in a top five list. Nice yeah. one. I like it. This was also that like 
thing you didn't think you needed in life until it got shown to you. Oh, right. It's so good. Like I remember when this got shown off at E3, I was like, wait, what? Like mm -hmm. I didn't think I would care. I'm like, that's amazing. And then same thing with the Hot Wheels thing. When they did Hot Wheels, I was like, again, thing I didn't realize I needed in my life until right now. Like that's amazing. Such a good call. Yeah, ma'am. Yep. Nice one. All hey, right, Pete. you're up next. Okay, cool. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a, another honorary mention. I'm going to say nice. Naraka Blade Point um, is one of my honorary mentions, mostly because whenever, like, the most that I've used, I will say, um, when it comes to Game Pass, and is probably Naraka. <laughs> I've played so much of this game. Am I good at it? That's not the point. I love this game. Um, it's just, one, it has fantastic character creator. It's what I want in a battle royale in comparison to some other battle royales where they're just like, oh, here's a skin. It's the same thing with that game as well, but you can also customize your own characters. Um, and so it's just always fun. I never, I don't usually play it by myself. I'd always just play with friends. Um, so it's definitely a huge shout out. Um, if you haven't heard of it before, if you like battle rails and you want to play with swords, um, but also, um, ranged weapons, here you go with some really cool, um, <laughs> ultimates 100%. Um, I, and I, I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something in this game in comparison to when I play Fortnite. I ride around aimlessly in Fortnite and any other Battle Royales, and I don't really care. With that one, I'm actually thinking strategically how I'm going to actually win the game. And for that reason, honorable shout out. Um, my number two, and it's the reason why this is number two for me, it's strictly out of nostalgia, and it's Halo 3. Um, which is shocking that I even have this on the list. Um, the reason why is... It kind of introduced me to multiplayer games um, and the fun that you can have by sitting with your friends um, in a basement um, and having all-nighters by just playing um, against each other um, and the chaos that can ensue. Um, I didn't get to really play video games as a kid. Um, so the, my introduction or my at least my ability to play video games was by going and hanging out with friends. Um, so I didn't even, I don't know what happened in the campaign. Do not ask me if, what, I, what happened in the campaign. I could not tell you. Finish you. the fight. Um, fight. Okay. 10 out of 10. Um, no, we just <laughs> played the multiplayer. We just fought against each other. Um, I just enjoyed, like, I usually was the person who ended up driving the warthog and driving it around and um, someone shooting um, and just causing chaos, which m makes sense why I put that kind of um, Naraka mention as my honorary mention, because usually in Battle Royals, I'm usually the person that's just driving around um, or shooting um, with a vehicle. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I know it's definitely not something that I would usually call out, um, but since this is a xbox um top five and also i have the utmost respect for this game because of the fact that it got me interested in multiplayer um and being able like seeing what you could do with video games um yeah that's why it's on number two for me good pick i love halo 3 like my my commentary on picking halo reach is uh not to degrade any of the other games but like Actually, speaking of, uh, because I don't have any other Halos on my list, uh, what I think are totally underrated Halo games, I think 3 is probably perfectly rated, um, but I think people underappreciate Halo 4 and Halo 5. Seriously. I am, here, I am here to stand for Halo 4 and Halo 5. Again, Halo 4 especially, a 360 game. That game looks crazy. It is so beautiful, and I think just people got a little too carried away with the fact that it wasn't Bungie anymore. I think the game's very good. I will say 4 for the story. Yep, five for the multiplayer it, and just straight up gameplay like the campaign mm -hmm. the story is nonsense in five but it was fun to play right yeah Which five is... no go ahead oh, sorry. Sorry. no 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 i was you continue and i'll start <laughs> no <laughs> four story was like unexpected four story was like wait what's so going good. on right now yeah and that's why i like four story four's multiplayer uh, yeah okay. see i didn't really didn't, didn't matter to me five's campaign led us to certain things being thought and had a great start of like promoting the campaign. They had a podcast campaign oh, that was phenomenal. Yep. yep. All these things. And then you played the actual campaign. You're like, what the hell is this? But yep. it's okay. The multiplayer of five though had Warzone. It was great. It was like it had like this like PvP versus E type of deal. It was phenomenal. You could upgrade things. It's awesome. Halo 5's multiplayer, I spent a ton of time on. So yes, appreciate those. Um, but yeah, like people crapped on it you're right because it wasn't 343 although 
there's definitely things you can say about 343 that are very valid points of, you know, criticism. Um, but no, like, they're, yeah, four story, fives multiplayer. I'm here. And I want people, like, leave it in the comments. Let's talk about it in the Discord. Halo 4, like, where are you people at? Because I think that game is very cool. But that's not yeah. even what I'm here to talk about. We're just kind of segueing out of um, Fiona's uh, pick. My number two, I don't need to spend a whole heck of a lot of time on because Mitch has already done a wonderful job waxing poetic about Ori and the Blind Forest. This is a game that people should just play. I feel like it's damn near required gaming. A um, little bit challenging, but it is gorgeous, heartwarming, heart-wrenching story uh to experience and just immaculate game design i'm here for the game design the way the game feels the way it makes you feel is so so good or in the blind forest and if you want to pull a nagachaka you'll you'll throw will and the wisps in there as well especially on the technical front they were really pushing some cool new stuff on on series x when that came out so i am here to i want ori in a top five list i want to yes. i want to stand by my word people need to celebrate this game and these games so yeah make sure you did a wonderful job already talking about this game i'm right with you it's my number two and i've got one spot left after this my friend my number two what's funny is it has <laughs> a number two in the title um no, titanfall two. 2. Oh, good pick holy crap titanfall oh. now here's the thing i'm gonna think titanfall is an xbox game and you can prove me wrong but titanfall one was on xbox it was exclusive to xbox it was the reason i went to xbox instead of ps4 because all i needed to hear was x call of duty developers and titans falling out of the sky hell yeah that's all i needed to hear that's the reason why i bought an xbox one was because of titanfall titanfall 2 i will stand right now it might be my favorite first person campaign I've ever played in my life. Yep. It's amazing. It's up there, man. Mm -hmm. It's so good. The, the campaign, the stories, the characters, the movement in this game is the best first person movement, period. There's no other first person shooter out there that has better movement than Titanfall 2. If yep. you played it, you know what I'm talking about. Double jumping, grappling, wall running. Yep. Just, it's amazing. It's so good. And it got completely ruined by EA releasing it in the middle of Battlefield and Call of Duty. This game deserves so much attention. This game is so good. And when I was talking about games that are on sale all the time, this game is on sale all the time. It's on sale right now on Steam, the Ultimate Edition for $3. You can buy it on Xbox for $5 right now. This game is on sale consistently. If you have Game Pass, you can just use Game Pass EA Play. I, I like... The only thing that made me stop playing this game realistically is Battle Royales because at the time that kind of came out Apex. That's why Apex is my number one game because it's made by Respawn. And like what the funny thing is, the guns that are in this game or in Apex are from this game. They're the same guns like it's this game is so good. And anybody who has not played it, the campaign's not that long. Please nope. do it. It's and it has a, a moment game. in it. It has this moment that like it makes you stop and just go like, I cannot believe this is happening. And that happens so rarely in first yep. person shooters. Holy crap! I'm with you, man. This is Titanfall a great Two pick. is literally one of the best first person shooters ever ever made. Um, yep. I Good call. and, and I, again, it, you might not call it an Xbox game. Titanfall what was an Xbox game, and that's why I put it on there. But Titanfall Two is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Nice and, one. And if Titanfall Three comes out. Don't ask me to do anything besides play that, like, period. I'll just play Titanfall 3 all day long. I feel like it's sitting in the same spot as ha uh, Half-Life, you know? Very, very good first-person shooter, uh, set the bar so high, we'll never see the third game. I, I think Respawn did say Apex is going to have non-BR stuff happening. Now, I don't want Apex single. I want Titanfall 3. Yeah. Now, it takes place in the same universe. They could expand on it, like the lore behind Apex and Titanfall. They all merge together. It's all one universe. But like people who played two know what I'm talking about. They're just like, oh, yeah. Like Sean, how how he was like, yeah, you're 100 percent right. Yeah, play Titanfall too. It's amazing. Definitely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Good pick. I like it. Bowser. Yeah, I was going to have Titanfall two be one of my honorable mentions, but I knew you were going to have it on your list. So I just <laughs> let that go. It's still an honorable mention for her. <laughs> yeah, still an honorable mention. Another honorable mention would be Gears 5 and the Hive Busters DLC. Oh, yes. Good call. Yes. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. good. That good. moment in Gears 5, though. Yeah. That end moment. I was like, yeah, I'm not sure I'm really ready for Gears 6. So I don't want to do either one of these things. <laughs> oh, but I could get a couple more Hive Busters. You know, honestly, yeah. like, they, they just keep me happy. Well, just, like, keep it yeah, warm. Just put out a little small yes. thing like that. Just, just small. 
little small thing. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My number one is a beautiful masterpiece called Red Dead Redemption 2. Wow. I have yes. owned this game on three different platforms. <laughs> I've got hundreds of hours in it across the platforms. And it was a, a game that I got kind of early into my venture back into gaming. You know, and when the Switch came out, I hadn't been gaming for quite a few years. And I got a Switch, got my toes wet in that, and then decided to get a PS4. And I picked up Red Dead Redemption 2 and put, I don't know, 150 hours into it right off the bat. And it showed me what gaming was in the modern era, you know? Nintendo games are fun and I love them to death, but this was something special. And this is what led me to the path of having two giant TVs in the living room, yeah. playing all the games on all the consoles, and I'm on a dang podcast about video games. Hell yeah. And this game did it. Such a powerful game. Oh man, the ending of this one. Hooey. That's a... That's an emotional ride as well. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get too far into it, actually. I haven't played the actual cam like campaign that I need to, but I have 300 hours into online. Like, I'm... Oh, wow. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. Um, <laughs> no, I, I will be honest. I wish the online support was better, um, yeah. but just phenomenal game. Um, it's a game that I go and play like constantly. Like if I, like, I always have it like downloaded on my computer. Um, so I keep on ha hearing from everyone. If I really love the online mode, I should play the actual campaign. Um, so definitely it's on my list of things I need to do in 2024. Um, so I'll definitely, especially since it's now your, like, I know that it's your number one. I'm going to have to definitely yeah. do this now. <laughs> it's well worth the experience. It's on the list. This could be the next one. It could be Red Let's Dead. Let's do it. Because I, I I played it back when it came out. This was one game that I, I bought day one. Um, and it just it wasn't the original Red Dead for me. So yeah. like that didn't that didn't hit me um all that positively. And then I had a mission glitch out on me. I was like, all right, I'm out. But I've always kind of regretted stepping away from it. Uh, a, it's gorgeous. And I, I love hearing when people kind of just go off on it like that because I feel like I'm missing something big time. So I haven't completely written it off, but I would like to, I'd like to experience this one. So nice pick. Number one. Number one. Love it. It did a lot for me to get back into gaming. So it's nice. gotta be in the top spot. Well, Yarden in the chat says the same thing, like bought an Xbox one X just for this game. See? So yeah, it was a huge game. The trailer we just watched has 24 million views. Yep. So yeah, we love to see it. Pretty popular. Yeah. P, what's your number one? Okay, we're we're go we're we're traveling to the future, October twenty oh. third, twenty seventy seven. Um, you wake nice. up in the morning, you hear your son crying in the other room, um, and you get ready for your day, and unfortunately, some alarms go off because there's going to be some heat outside as the bombs are about to drop because we're about to hit into Fallout Four, guys. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Holy, ho, 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 ho. Two Fallout games. <laughs> yeah, two Fallout games. <laughs> you could have combined Dude, I them thought you were going to talk about Cyberpunk yeah, yeah, 2077. Where's the one experience there? Where's the one experience there? Gotcha. Um, no, I... <laughs> yes, I have two Fallout games here. I love um, it. Hell honestly, yeah. Honestly, if I could, and if the 76 was better, that would have been on this list too. <laughs> <laughs> If this but game was better, it absolutely would have been on my top five list. <laughs> it would have been on my top five. Um, I cannot tell you what this game... Like, I played Fallout 3. Um, I was in a kind of a low point in my life. And I was just like, you know what? Um, Fallout 4 is just around the corner. I'm going to start playing this game. And boy, howdy, did I put in the hours. Um, I cannot tell you... From, like, when I started, I think I was 350 hours into this game. Guys, I did not finish Fallout 4. Um, I played this <laughs> game so extensively. I, <laughs> the side quest, I haven't even played the DLC. I need to go play the DLCs because I just, it was a particular t time where I just got so consumed. I loved, like I said, I loved Fallout 3. 
Um, and then getting back into the world um, and get, um, starting Fallout 4, it was so revolutionary at the time. Like the one, the character creator, Chef's Kiss, just hands down, um, if we want to stay on brand for today. Um, but no, it's the story itself, not only the main character's story, um, but just everyone you met, uh, meet branched out into something else, um, which was... I know something that they did in Fallout 3, but it felt, at least for myself, it was a whole other level in this game. I know some people say that um, New Vegas is stronger in certain aspects, um, but I this game just has a special place in my heart. And also, one of my favorite non-romanceable companions of all time is in this game, Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine is such a uh, i if like he's one of those characters that if anyone messes with nick valentine everyone is dead i do not care (laughs) the vicinity massacred you mess i will tell you right now i've never been so upset about a companion that when i went accidentally with nick valentine towards the brotherhood of steel and for people who don't know they do not like Nick Valentine. Um, and they just constantly made fun of him. And he's just like, maybe I should leave. They don't. It's Aww. obvious that no one wants me here. And I'm just like, I, you know what? I don't want to be here. So I left. <laughs> I'll leave with you. <laughs> I'll leave with you. Um, and honestly, probably for the best, because that area was glitchy. Shout out to Bethesda. Um, but <laughs> I. <laughs> Shout out to your busted game engine. That still doesn't work very well. That's right. Let him know. No, it's, I, the amount of hours that I've put, like, just in this game alone, and not to have completed it, um, it's, I felt like there was always something to find. Um, I always like the, um, being able to turn my radio dial to a different radio station, and then maybe pick up an entire quest. There's certain times where I remember, and I, it still haunts me to this day when I turned a dial and you hear someone yelling for help and you go looking for them. Are they alive? Who knows? Um, it might be a recording. Who knows? Um, oh man. There, I like, there's so many thoughts in my brain and also the fact that it's currently a little bit on the late side for me. I'm like, there's so much I want to say. It's tomorrow. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it tomorrow, but like I, like I could sit here for probably the rest of the night. And by the rest of the night, I mean until about eight o'clock in the morning. Why I love this game. I love it. Um, yeah. It's just- let's do a fall. Like, let, let's do that. Like, we should really do, like some of these games you guys want to spend more time on. I'd love to like if And even if it means that we got to shuffle around like hosts or whatever, or bring on guests or whatever, like, I think that would be so much fun. And actually, it's, it's very similar to like the RPG cave really does that. Like they hone in on a particular game and topic. Like I'm open to that. Like just brainstorming ideas here. Now that we're two and a half hours into the dang podcast and we're getting a little loopy. Like I think that would be super fun. Like for Mitch and I, if it, and anybody else who wanted to join in, like, you know, the best stories in first person shooters. Like, I think that would be so fun or just the best first person shooters. I think that would be so fun. Um, Cause I've really enjoyed hearing people wax poetic about their favorite games. Um, for, you have me like, I'm gonna play like Loop Hero after this apparently and Red Dead Redemption and both like all the Fallout games that Bethesda has made so far. Like I'm in, I wanna play Titanfall all over again i'm pumped up man i'm right ready to go like this is awesome <laughs> let's pick one of them play it let's go i can't yeah. that's the problem i can't pick one. Oh my gosh so good good call follow four and like the other thing that i love about this too fee is like it unfortunately has it becomes cool to like hate on certain games um and fallout 4 is one i mean just fallout in general i think is in there i think gears and halo to a certain extent as well so yeah, kudos to to us. Just like whatever, we like these games. They're really good. Yep. I like them. Yeah. All right. You're is it, no is it me? Me? Well, it's me. Well, it's me. Me to finish things off, and I don't need to go on too too long about this uh, game. And this is one that may have the most hours played for me. Um, and it's a game called Forza Horizon Five, and it's it was either this or three honestly. Um, and three actually has great DLC. So quick shout out to three, uh, with the blizzard mountain DLC, I think, is that what three? Yeah. Did you get that? And hot wheels. That's crazy. Um, which is very good. I was just checking to see if I had any other, um, 
honorable mentions. A shout out to Titanfall. I'll give a shout out to the original Titanfall. Uh, Forza Horizon Five is I. It's it's like the Mario Kart Eight Deluxe of Forza Horizon games. Like aside from them adding the Lego DLC to that, I'm not sure what else I want out of it. I think Mexico is an excellent location and setting. I think the game looks better in some cases. It, it look it's more visually pleasing than forza motorsport which is not how that's supposed to go it's an open world game with cars which is again not how it's supposed to go that is not something that people are supposed to enjoy doesn't even make sense to say it out loud like what does that even mean it's an open world game with cars like what are you what are you talking about me um it's just endlessly playable you go around and you search all the all the if you just want to like drive down every street to me, that was fun. Crashing into all the, the the boards. To me, that was fun. I got a whole bunch of Toyota cars, which that's my that's my, my car of choice. Driving my Supers around, my Mister Twos, which is an MR2 for those uh, keeping track at home. And I this Forza Horizon three and five. I'm totally doing a Nagachaka move here. These are games that I woke up early to play, and that's kind of like my. That's my check. And I'm like, oh, this one, this one's special. Because I woke up and thought the best thing that I can do instead of sleeping is playing this game. And sleep, you know, it's uh, something some of us all need, especially after a three-hour dang <laughs> podcast. So I'll leave it at that um, and sort of like recap. And maybe we can go around the home really quickly to recap our list. And again, our list will be in the Discord. So please, guys, Mitch click the links. Join one. them. Sorry? I- I didn't do my number one, but it's cool. Don't worry. Oh, I thought you gave it away already. I'm so sorry, Mitch. Um, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm it sorry, a, dude. It, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I We're thought you already. Two, I thought two you hours, mentioned your last one. The show. No, you're, you're right. good. Um, <laughs> uh, it's already one that's been mentioned though. Halo Three. Like Halo Three. Dude, was... I thought you said Apex before is your number one. I'm, I, what the hell? No, I no, no, no. I was just mentioning how Apex is awesome my because bad, I talk about bad. Apex every time. No, no, no. Um, Halo Three. Uh, it had Forge. It was the best of I, I, Forge. Changed that game entirely. Uh, it was Halo 2, but better. The story mode in Halo 3, the campaign of Halo 3 was better than 2. 2 left you on a cliffhanger that bummed me out. Where you finished the fight. 3 was awesome. Um, but no, like I said, it's already been talked about. But like Halo 3, I would say overall, just culmination of perfect Halo 2 multiplayer. Great campaign, finishing the campaign. Like, I just feel like Trilogy. Gears 3 was the best Halo. one. Halo 3 was the best. Like, I don't know. Like, all these, like, 3s were just great. And uh, yeah, Halo 3 is phenomenal. So... Yes, that would be my number one. My bad, dude. I didn't mean to. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. Uh, Please, everybody, Discord, list your top five Xbox games playable on Xbox. They don't have to be exclusive, Um, but I love doing this, you guys. It's been so fun. Whatever we were doing for the first 90 minutes, God knows we weren't in any hurry to talk about 20 games, you Mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Nice crossover. One community submission of top games. Love it. Fool, you jumped in. So her honorable mention was Fable 3. Oh. Num- number three game, Lego Dimensions. Nice. Oh, nice. yes. Toys to Life. Number yes. two, Forza Horizon 5. Yeah. We showed some love. Shout out. And her number one, Viva Pinata. Nice. Yes. <laughs> He's like, let's go. Vindication! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah. I, man. Also, too, by the way, if you have Game Pass, you can play the majority almost yeah, pretty everything, much everything we talked that we about. Said. Yeah, yep. minus like Red Dead. Maybe Left 4 Dead? Is Left 4 Dead Rock on Bet? Game Pass? No, it's probably not. It's probably not. I don't even know if you can buy it. But it goes super anymore, cheap. Honest, but... Oh, yeah, it yeah. always goes cheap. It always goes cheap. And if you don't have it on there, just so you go. Like right now, like, oh, by the way, Left 4 Dead, you can buy for a dollar. That's what I'm on saying. On any mm-hmm. Steam sale ever. Yep. Go buy that. For a dollar. And like I said, Titanfall is like $3 on Steam right now. It's like a oh. lot of games are on sale. Red Dead's Ultimate Edition is $30 on Xbox right now. All my games are Dude. available on Game Pass, guys. Nice. I'm, th- I'm thinking about the viewers. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> One of my games you can't even buy anymore. So yeah, I'm sorry, Rock Band. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Remember this. <laughs> you got to play exactly. Fortnite Festival instead. No, I won't. Go on. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm no. good. No. I'm good. It maybe if they they do some more to it, <laughs> maybe there's no there. It's just it's rock band light. There's no you just have to tap yeah. buttons. You don't have to strum. All you have to do is just do this. Come on, I need some more. Do we want to coming out with a real guitar? Yeah, no, no, that's what I was mentioning. So they the the real guitar pre order is out. Yeah. You it's not a you can't use it in Fortnite yet, but 
It will eventually. So yeah. <laughs> go on. Sorry, Sean. No, sorry, I'm fee. You cut fee off. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fee, go on. Sorry about that. I was just gonna say, do we still want to just do a quick, like this is like just a quick list before we end? Just like Sean mentioned. Exclusive beforehand. to the Discord. We'll make it. I changed my mind. Exclusive cool. to the Discord. Because, if you want to recap of the list. A- I'm making a hot change to mine, but that's fine. Okay. It's in the Discord. <laughs> I like it. All right, find out. New list in the Discord. Yeah. yeah. Join the Discord to find out. It's late. Yep. All right, everybody. Okay. Is that time to wrap it up? <laughs> okay. The end? Well, how, did you, how have you guys been closing the show the last couple of weeks? I don't know. Yeah. It's your job now. I don't know. Okay. It says Sean. <laughs> oh, does that mean? Okay. Well, please. Thank you. First of all, thank you everybody for listening to this episode of the Xbox Drive. It's been a pleasure. We we don't get to do this enough. We just get to talk about games. I love it. I dig it. I hope people have enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to go around the horn and have everybody talk about where they can follow them uh, on socials. You can follow me on X or Twitter if you like. Uh, at Sean Capri, Sean like Connery. Capri like the pants. Uh, it's the same uh, as my gamer tag as well. Uh, Mitch Power. Where can everybody find you on the internet, my friend? Uh, Mitch Power 1116. Uh, Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah, everywhere. I, I stream almost every single day uh, doing something, whether it's editing, whether it's single player games, whether it's multiplayer games. So come hang out on my Twitch. Have some fun. How about you, Bowser? You can find me on X at Bowser13. <laughs> Add me as a friend on the Xbox at Bowser13. And hop into that Discord for some sweet hangs. And in like five minutes, you're going to find me passed out in my bed. Nice. <laughs> I hope nobody actually does find you, but uh, other we can't than expect green that's jeans, what's I hope to no you. one does. Fair. Correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Basic. How about you, Fee? Um, you can find me here. You can find me on Wednesdays over on the Point in Progress podcast when I don't sleep through my entire podcast. Um, that's a whole other story for another day, guys. Um, and um, you can also find me tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be joining Green Rose um, 77 um, and we're going to be doing a 24 hour um, board game. Thon. Well, he's going to be starting at 7 a.m. I'm joining him at 9 a.m. Um, so that's in a couple hours. It sure yeah, is. But we're sucks. cool. 10 out of 10, guys. Um, so we're going to be playing a lot of board games. Um, we're going to be playing the Bloodborne board game. We're going to be playing Star Wars Rebellion, which is a massive board game um, that takes about five hours. We're going to be playing Blood on the Clock Tower. So if you're interested in playing that for the first time, um, Lucas will be hosting it. We'll be playing some code nades and a lot of fun stuff. And I'm going to be eating snacks and drinking some um energy drinks because your girl's gonna be having a time this weekend everybody no i'm super excited so definitely go check us out over on twitch.tv slash green rose 77 and he's also on the way to go get affiliate so go follow him if you have oh, congratulations yeah. Woo! that's amazing okay you guys what an episode thank you everybody for listening to this episode uh number 332 of the xbox drive um, before we go we have two things that we'll get to uh one stick around we'll play the song by riley at the end of the episode and before we even get to that i want to give a quick thank you to everybody uh more than 100 people over at patreon.com slash carpool gaming we love it if you joined in, if you're not there already, join in on the Discord. And uh, before we go, we'll say thank you to everybody over there, especially our ultimate producers like Tony Baker over at youtube.com slash quest for pixels Jonathan Brown, which uh, does the music for this show and also the PlayStation Drive. You can find so much wonderful tunes over at linktree uh, slash pme.jib. Lee Navarro, the fearless leader of the Extra Life team, Phoenix Overdrive. We're part of that team. We want you guys to be there. PhoenixOverdrive.com is where you go. And over to Quagmire, who, along with me, reminds you that the best babes are Xeno Babes. Our brand new Platinum Producers, Robbie Bobby Miller. Welcome back, my friend. And Smoke and Joe up there in the Platinum Producer role. And our gold members, Adam K. Anna. Awesome Dave, 1337, Bob Blah, Brad Moore, Brian Reese, Cecily Carota, Crockle Kyle, Dan and Luma, Dano, Emily O'Kelly, Yawn32, a soft J for Yawn, Marcus O'Neill, Pehe EP, and Tim Ulf. Thank you everybody so much for supporting us at patreon.com slash carpool gaming. If you want to get exclusive content like CPG, BTS, the Pants Patreon podcast for Patrons Podcast, and a whole bunch of other stuff, go pick the tier that's right for you. The exclusive tier starts at the exclusive tier that's where you get the content that's the end episode 332 we went all night we went into tomorrow thank you everybody for watching now please enjoy 
Oh, where did his video go? You guys, I'm going to have to just post it on Twitter. Sorry, his video is oh, gone. No. It's oh, gone. no. Oh, it was he here and it's, and it's gone. I'm sorry, Riley. We love you. Thank you so much for your tunes. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of the Xbox Drive. Now, before you drive off, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow Carpool Gaming on socials. Don't forget that we've got some awesome Xbox Drive merch on carpoolgaming.com and you can also support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash carpoolgaming for exclusive content. Links to everything are in the description. We'll see you next week.